No Fugazi Podcast. I'm your host, Cooley. We got another amazing episode today. We got five lovely ladies on a podcast. We talking dating and relationships. Hey, uh, appreciate the support. Everyone in here, uh, if you aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, <laughs> subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click that like notification bell as well so you're notified. Uh, click the like button so it gets into the algorithm, but also click the notification bell so you're notified of the next podcast. Uh, but other than that, let's get into intros. Uh, what it's looking like. Let's start over here. <laughs> Name, age, and where you from? Oh, we start with Shay? With me? Start with you, yes. Name, age, um, and where you from? Shay, and I'm 24. 24? Oh, Shay? Okay. Oh, Bethlehem. <laughs> Okay, okay. And uh, actually, let me just get a rules of the podcast. I forgot to do that. So, ladies, uh, one mic at a time. Um, oh. So, for example, whoever is speaking, <laughs> um, respect their mic uh, and let them land their plane. So, for example, let's say if this girl over here is speaking, right, and she's saying something that triggers this girl over here, uh, I'm, and you cut her off, I'm going to be like, listen, ladies, calm it down. Let her land her plane. So, yeah, one mic at a time. But other than that, let's have fun and let's have some good talks. I'm sorry, Shay. Uh, finish introducing yourself. Uh, how old did you say you were? Uh, my name is Shay. I'm 24 and I'm from Bethlehem. 24 from Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what do you do for a living? A lot. <laughs> you do a lot? Yeah. You want to explain? Uh, I'm a personal trainer. I do nails. I started doing music now too as well. And I have a little side job. Okay, you do music, you got a side job, you do nails, you're a personal trainer. Dang, you got more jobs than a Jamaican. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, relationship status. That's you, Shay. Uh, that's you. I'm saying that. Uh -huh. You married, right? Ain't you married? <laughs> I'm married. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's Yo. hundreds of people watching. What's relationship status? <laughs> it's complicated. Complicated. Okay, it took you a while to answer that. So complicated. Correct me if oh I'm wrong, God. right? <laughs> Does this mean that a dude is hitting it? And uh, All right, relax. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. It's complicated. So Next that means person. he's hitting it, but you <laughs> know, he's person. not elevating you to the... Well, not he's not elevating you. Maybe he's inadequate and you don't really want that relationship, but you're kind of comfortable because you've been hitting it for a while. Yay or nay? No, I'm in a relationship. Oh, so now you in a relationship. Yeah. Ooh, she's in a so relationship. now she want to claim, dude. Hey, listen, if you watching <laughs> this, make me a fucking bitch. if you watching this, bro, uh, just move on. Because before she didn't want to claim you, but now oh she want to claim God. you. So you might as well move on <laughs> from that situation, well. buddy. Now I'm just messing with you, Shay. <laughs> nah, I don't care. Shay, uh, fun fact about yourself. I'm just funny. You funny? Yeah. All right, let me get a joke. Yo, don't be fucking annoying. <laughs> you just said you funny. Let me hear a joke. You want to laugh. Yeah. 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 Yo, like you'll see over the podcast, like I really, just, I make a lot of jokey jokes. You make I'll a lot of jokes. do it towards mm -hmm. anybody. Like, nothing hey, chat, like that. Uh, remember that Shay says she funny, so if she corny, bruh, Shot that out, bruh. And uh, <laughs> don't let her get away with no corny jokes. And she At says she's funny. You want to Well, you let him get away with a lot. So why wouldn't they let me get away with some song? Because. I mean, you claiming you funny. I ain't claim I was funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, moving right along. Uh, 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 <laughs> let's go over here. And ladies, lie. once again, let's keep the volume to a minimum. One mic at a time. Uh, name, age, and where you from? I'm Janice. I'm 22, and I'm from Bethlehem. 22 from Bethlehem. Okay, what do you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist, professional. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, you were telling me you do twists. You asked mm -hmm. me, yo, where you get your twist done? Yeah. And da-da-da, you wanted to do my twist. Okay, that's what's up. And uh, relationship status? I'm single. Single. See how easy that was? Quick. She was quick with it. I'm single. <laughs> quick. And uh, y'all sisters, right? Yes. Okay. Chat, can y'all see the resemblance? Nope. Shay, you want to look in this camera over here? <laughs> Shay, super shy today. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> fun fact about yourself. Uh, um, fun fact. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's random, but I have. Um, I'm one of nine, like nine brothers and sisters. You're one of nine. Yeah. So y'all two are sisters. Y'all got the same mother and father. Yes. yes. Oh. And then you one of nine. So your mom and dad 
had so y'all got the same all one and nine got the same mom and dad no it's like split split so but who got dad. the most kids your dad oh the same dad yeah and it's kind of even oh dang your dad was out was there busy. he was <laughs> homie was busy, was busy yeah. homie was busy okay fair enough and uh we got my man E's in the building co-hosting what up what up, what up? Let's move it on to this couch. Uh, name, age, and where you from? Hey, everyone. I'm Sarah. I'm 35 and from New Jersey. Sarah, 35, from New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. What do you do for a living? I'm a certified trainer of NLP. I'm an NLP coach, and I'm a clinical therapist. Okay. And a clinical therapist. You said you're a certified trainer in what? Neurolinguistic programming. Neurolinguistic programming. Okay. So basically... Our brains are super computers, and we're always programming our brains, whether we know it or not. And how are we programming our brains? By everything we do. So just like you don't have to think about breathing or blinking right now, I don't have to think about walking across to the bathroom. All learning and behavior change happens unconsciously. Got you. So it's focused on the, the unconscious part yep. besides the conscious part. So then. I can help people get the results they want in life. Okay, cool, cool. We'll yeah. uh, maybe touch on a little bit more of that during the podcast. Um, relationship status. I am single. Single. How long you been single for? A year and six months, a year and a half. Okay, a year and six months. Okay, cool. And fun fact about yourself. I'm a certified scuba diver. Certified scuba, so you're a... You're literally That's a scuba fire. diver? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, aqua lady um, <laughs> in the building. Aqua lady. I like yeah. that. Right along. <laughs> name, age, and where you from? My name is Vana. I'm from New York. Okay. Vana from do, New York. Just, I what? do hair. Okay. I do my own hair. Yeah. Okay. And so that's what you do for a living? Mm -hmm. You do your hair. You like I did, I went through cosmetology. I'm working on my cosmetology license, mm -hmm. taking a test. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, that's what's up. And relationship status. Um, I have a boyfriend. I'm in a relationship. You got a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You're in a relationship. And I'm sorry, Sarah. Did we mention Sarah's relationship status? Yeah, I'm single. Oh, she said single. Okay, and she said for how long? I almost <laughs> forgot. Okay, cool. You're in a relationship. How long you been in, in a relationship for, Ivana? Like a year and a couple months year and couple months okay cool um fun fact about yourself um when i see something like on hands we hear including here like i when i see something i just get it right away like when you which wait with what with hair oh with hair mm -hmm. okay when, when you I see, see something, something you get it right away like it could be youtube i'm watching a video and I will watch it, and I'll do it after, and I just... Boom, boom. Right. Got you, got you. So if I want them Iverson braids, you could just look real quick and hook me up. Right. Say no more. Uh, moving right along, name, age, and where you from? My name is Ayla. Um, I'm from Jersey, and I'm 22. Ayla, welcome back, Ayla. Thank you. Uh, and uh, what do you do for a living? I work at a physical therapy clinic. Physical therapy clinic. And uh, relationship status? Single single mm -hmm. okay how long you been single for you've been singing on, uh, on all the podcasts i think it's your third time here <laughs> i don't think you were single on the first one i think it was complicated it was complicated yeah i knew it was complicated mm -hmm. so you're single now okay. um yeah maybe like a month now a little over a month okay a little bit over a month mm -hmm. got you and uh fun fact about yourself um uh, I've played multiple sports and I made varsity for all of them. Multiple sports. She made varsity in all of them. Okay. What was your, what's the, what would you say the best, your best sport? I played uh, soccer throughout college. So I guess soccer. Soccer? Mm hmm Okay. Got you. All right. Sock. She's a little soccer player. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, chat. Um, we live right now. Uh, it's, it's Thursday. Thirsty Thursdays. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> um, we got five <laughs> lovely ladies on a podcast. Uh, once again, Super Chats. Uh, if y'all want to support, send in a Super Chat. I will read your comment. You can send in a dollar. I don't care. Send in anything. Um, if you want to ask a question on a podcast, send in a Super Chat. Everyone on Facebook. Um, if you want to participate and have any questions for the panel, 
Go to YouTube, get off of Facebook, go to YouTube and uh, support the channel by sending in a super chat and asking a question or maybe making a comment. And I'll read your comment out loud and I'll also read your chat, your uh, question out loud to the panel and have the girls answer. So um, I got a question for you ladies. Let's go around. Well, actually, before I get into it, do any of you ladies have any questions? No? What made you now? have one? Oh. So, okay, who, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot? No, go ahead. All right, go ahead. What's your main goal for this podcast? Well, I think you had that same question. No, I thought... You said, what was your question? No, you can answer because it's not the same. Oh, it's not the same? Yeah. You said main what? What's your main goal for this podcast? Main goal for the podcast is to... Uh, well, this podcast is about dating and relationships. And it's about the intersexual dynamics between male and females. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to really, you know, explain that men and women are different. Um, and also have a good discourse between myself and the guest on the panel to get closer to the truth. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Yep. Um, it's also more goals than that, but that's a, just a quick summary. Any, you got a question, right? Yeah. So I have three actually. So now it's like, so why aren't there like men on this podcast? Like, Dane, like, Ease, she trying to say you're not a man? Uh, <laughs> now you are. I'm just, like, I'm, I'm just saying. Ease, how you feel about like, that, bro? Really no like, way. I'm girly. just, at, first of all, I have three questions. So I'm asking, what made you get started in podcasting? Did yeah. people sit there and basically tell you that you weren't going to make it? I want to ask your journey on it. That's second. Oh, okay. But third, I also do want to ask, if you're saying that that's the case, I feel like a lot of your crowd are woman-based. So why isn't it like 50 50 if you want to get that like just perspective put your mic a little closer and that dynamic of things yeah i just want to know that's all uh well men we fairly seem to think alike and uh women seem to think alike as well we're not that different from one another as far as men and men and women and women our thinking and behavior patterns of what we find attractive in the opposite mates is fairly similar. Our preferences may be a little bit different. So bringing on a panel of all guys, I'm not really trying to have a sausage fest. It's not too interesting. Uh, I may do a panel of all guys and uh, some interesting guys, though. If I do do a panel of all men, they'll be interesting and they'll have something to give to the audience. Um, so, yeah, what was the other question? It was um what made you get started and did people that was i answered that that was from her and what, what was the other one that was it i think it's she said did journey, i kill two birds in one turn? That. <laughs> oh the journey right right her journey. the journey to the podcast this podcast started january uh the end of january we released the first episode of no full gazy podcast so this year in january so we're coming up on a year and uh you know um First couple, first episode actually went viral on Facebook and it kind of took off from there. So, yeah. Yep. Um, any other questions about dating and relationships besides me? Ladies? No? Okay. Well, I got the first question on the panel then. Hey, chat, uh, if y'all supporting, uh, like the podcast uh, and also click that notification bell. So, let's get into the first question. Um, so, this is gonna be it's gonna be a few questions actually for you ladies and we're gonna start over here with shay no, don't start you're gonna start with shay <laughs> um and so what you're gonna do is so i'm going to give you ratings of a guy based on his looks right so i'm gonna give you a rating on a guy based on his looks then i'm going to give you his stats meaning like mm. his accomplishments. So one, no. I'm gonna give you a rating and then I'm gonna give you his stat. So everyone pay attention. So I'm gonna give you the rating of the guy, then give you a stat. Uh, based off of his stat, you're going to let me know if his rating stays the same or it goes down. So for example, we're gonna speak about ladies. So say if I'm gonna give a rating of a girl, I say this girl is a 10 and her uh, stat is that she is, uh, you know, a billionaire. Does that make her go stay a 10 or does that make her go down to a five? Do so we that's what we're doing. have to like pay attention to that? What'd you say? Can I like skip me? No, nah, no, nah, everybody paying attention. So uh, everybody's participating. So let's go with, and I just want y'all to run it off quick. So I'm going to ask the question and you're either going to tell me if the rating stays the same or if the rating changes. If it does change, give me the rating. So, 
He's a he's a ten, but he's shorter than you. What would you rate him? Is he still a ten, but he's shorter than you, or does his rating go down? It's not his rating goes down because he is who he is. It's just no for me. That's it. Okay, so, but so I want you to answer the question. He's a ten in looks, but he's shorter than you. So since he's a no for you, what is his rating then? Is it a zero? But he could be a yes for someone else. He's just a no, no, no. I'm going to talk about no one else. So once again, you can't. Just I don't talking about you. So it's, it's a, about it's a no what you to think. Me. I know it's a no, but what's his rating? What is he like five six? <laughs> so he's shorter than you. Ooh, I'm yeah. five three. You a midget. Fair enough. I'm sorry. Yeah. You out of here. Okay, but what is his rating? So he's a ten in looks, but he's shorter than you. So what would his zero. rating be? He's a zero. It don't, it don't matter what he is. He's done up. He's a zero. Okay, yeah. fair enough. And what about you? So the man is a 10, but he's shorter than you. Does his rating stay the same as a 10 or does it go down? Yeah, it goes down to like a zero. Like a three. <laughs> okay. Uh, just move your mic a little closer. Like that? Uh, like I, got, I got it. I got it? Yeah. <clears throat> I must have like swiveled over. I got you right there. there you go. Hello? Uh, he goes down to a three for me. Okay, so he goes down to a three. Uh, over here with Sarah. So the guy is a 10, but he's shorter than you. What's his rating? 10. 10. I don't judge people based off of something that they cannot control. Okay, how tall are you? 5'11 and a half. 5'11. Have you ever dated someone that's 5'2"? No. Okay, Would you? Uh, do you approach men that's 5'2"? Not romantically. Okay, and when men approach you, that's five two. Do you ever get? They romantic say they want to climb men? me like a tree. <laughs> Have you oh. ever let a five two man climb you like a tree? Hell no. Okay, so fair enough. So that means that you're not attracted to a five two man. So that means that his rating wouldn't be a ten. So ladies, but you never said how tall he was. If he was like five ten, he's shorter nine. than you. Yeah, I'm just saying I'm shorter than you. So ladies, let's keep it no fugazi because you're hesitant right now to answer these questions. And this podcast is called No Fugazi for a reason. So speak your mind. It's, you don't gotta be upset. No, for real though, I don't care about his height. I've dated somebody as short as like five seven. And I'm 5'11 and a half. Okay, so you did date someone shorter. Yeah. So, okay, so there, it would stay the same, a 10. Yeah. Fair enough, cool. And what about you, Ayla? A uh, guy is 5'10", but shorter than you. Oh, he's a 10, What's but in looks, but he's shorter he's than you. Her? My name is Vana. I'm sorry, Vana. Um, I would say no. Shorter than me? Yeah, what's his rating then? <laughs> Say like <laughs> at seven. Seven, okay. And uh, Ayla. <laughs> uh, uh, hell no. So what's his rating? <laughs> Zero. Zero. <laughs> you a midget. Dang. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go around again, and we're gonna start uh, with Ayla. Uh -huh. So he's a four, but he's rich. Does his rating go up from a four or no? He's a four, but he's rich. No. Is he still a four? Yeah. But he's he's rich. So I have to like what you look like. Okay. If you're a four, I don't know if I would go for a four. So I feel like even if he's rich, I probably wouldn't have gone for him anyway. Okay, but like he's rich, you can see it. Maybe what he's wearing, maybe what he's doing. Like you know, he's. I probably wouldn't be attracted to him romantically, so I probably wouldn't care if he's rich anyway. Okay, fair enough. Vana, he's a four, but he's rich. He's still a four. He's still a four. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Sarah. He's still a four. Maybe like a four and a half, but like even <laughs> like a, a four is, is I'm not even gonna talk to a four. <laughs> okay. Because I know what I bring to the table. Period. She said maybe a four so and a half. I have to <laughs> at least be on my level. E for effort. Okay. I'm not, I'm not settling for, for a, less. Hey, chat, and uh, take a mental note of this. <laughs> take just take some take some notes here. Uh, with you, um, he's a four, but he's rich. Does his rating stay the same or increase? As looks, <laughs> yeah. His no, no, like overall looks. Mm. Yeah, like. Mm. You were four, you were four. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, but we all looks, get money, he's a four, but he's rich. Does that increase his rating to you? Like, all right, he's a little bit more attractive now because he got money. <laughs> mm. 
That doesn't? No. Hey, chat, they being super fugazi right now, but we gonna no, break them in. No, super fugazi. Right. Right. Wait, hold on. We gonna break them in. Ladies, you might gotta tell them I'm getting to you. They being super fugazi right now, but we gonna break them in. Um, let's move it right along. <laughs> so he's a four, but he's rich. <laughs> There's um other rich people that are uh, a okay. ten. <laughs> They, they not all ugly. The rich niggas is not all ugly. So why am I settle for a four rich one when there's like, you know what I'm saying? Got you. Question back to you. You move oh, the no, mic no, a little no. closer. <laughs> so uh, next question is, he's a six, but he drives a luxury car. Does his rating go up a little bit when you see him pull up in that, that Benz or, Lamborghini. you know, that Lambo? He pull up in that Lambo yours? I feel like me, it's more of like a... Uh, like with me, I'm like very of a, like an energy person. So a lot. I know all women are, but just answer the question. So, if he's a six, but he drives a luxury vehicle, does his rating stay the same or does it increase a little bit? Is it his or is it a fucking rental? It's always his. It's his car. Oh no, he can still eat my ass if he's still ugly. Like if he's still ugly in spirit, like bye. But but once again, I say he's a six. Okay, but I'm a fucking like ten, and being my um a woman that gets her own money, I don't care about that. Okay, Just so because, his rating stays the same. Yeah. Let's go with you. A hey, hey, chat, bro. <laughs> I know y'all I know y'all going crazy right now in the chat. Let's keep going. Oh, he's uh, going he's a six, <laughs> but he drives a luxury car. Does his rating stay the same or go down? It goes back to the same one from before. It's the same thing. Because, like I said, we all get our own money. So that doesn't play a role, I feel like. You know, you drive a, a luxury car, okay? Car. Right. You got you. One? So, got you, got you. Okay, fair enough. Um and uh ch chat, I'm gonna rip them after all of this, bro. Cause they <laughs> all been y'all gonna get some heat tonight. I'm trust, I'm being honest with y'all, cause y'all being very no food. You wanna let us up. Fugazi. Sarah, uh, same question for you. He's a six, but he drives a luxury car. He stays a six. He stays a six. Yes, bruh. Who yo? Who was actually <laughs> real? <laughs> uh, Vanna, he's a six, but he drives a luxury car. He a four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, so his rating went down? Listen. He drives a nice I'm car. I'm independent. Mm -hmm. Money don't matter to me. Right. At all. Yo, chat. Period. <laughs> don't matter. Yo, <laughs> yeah, look, look, Yo listen, chat. Like, hold on, wait. Let me say what I'm saying. Why the fuck you lying? Why are you lying? Nah, 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 nah. That's what those buttons are? Listen, chat. <laughs> They being so fugazi right now is crazy, bro. This is my body, though. This is my body. Okay. If you look how you look, that's how you look how you look. If you pop out of a Benz, I mean a Benz, I said Benz. Whatever car. Yeah. Whatever, whatever car, car you like. Whatever car, it don't matter. How you look how you look is how you look how you look. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Sorry. We go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Me sure. Go ahead. Too. I'm so sorry. And then, um, Ayla. Yeah, I can go to the bathroom. Go oh, okay. Um, so it goes up a little bit because you're at least you're a six. You're above average. Okay. But I need to know if you just bought that car or if you actually got money. Nah, he he really he this his car. Okay, so then so I he's mean, a six. What does it go to? Like a seven. <laughs> okay, it goes to a seven. Okay, we finally got one being a little honest. Uh, honest here. Uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, I think we're all being honest. It's just our preference. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to expose all of that, So, like, though. if a girl's a zero and she, she drive a luxury car, what is she to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to expose all of that. So, but anyways, uh, we got but a super chat that... you question. Yeah, yeah, because that doesn't make sense. But we're going to get mean? to it. You just asked us the same thing. I got you. We're going to get to it. We got a cool. super chat that came in from Aaron uh, Weeks. Sends in $7. Appreciate the support, man. He says... As the host, you got to call the big girl in the red and ugly one in red. They what? are actually a four or less in the rating. This is no Fugazi, ain't it? <laughs> That's just a, he's, he's saying something about the girls. Okay, Aaron, I appreciate your support. Um, keep supporting, man. But uh, let's wait to the next. We're not going to wait to the other ladies come back. Let's start with you, actually, for this question. And I'm sorry, what you say your name was again? Janice. You can call me Jay if Jay. it's too hard to remember. I will remember Jay. That's pretty easy. So, Jay, a uh, question for you. So, he's a five, but he owns a yacht. 
owns a oh. yacht. I just so, don't know where, like, this is going with. Well, it's not going it's anywhere. I just want to you to answer the question. To me, for my preference, like, everyone is different, you feel me? So you can, you you see a person got money, they, they're, they're cuted for you, that's cool. But for me, if you're a five, the way you look, you're a five. You're still going to be a five. So I'm not talking about... Uh, He's a five, of course, in looks, right? But he owns a yacht. But personality goes into If you want to get deep into stuff, too, then personality goes into it. How you are as a person. Okay. Like if you want to yeah, get deep yeah, into we, it, you could do that. We all know That's that what women, changes the person. For sure. Not we know the that, amount of money you have. For sure. We know that women like to feel the vibes and stuff like that. But we're just talking based off of the material and the looks. What about you, Sarah? So he's a five, but he owns a yacht. You got me with the yacht, but the the the, the, th the number stays the same though because I'll entertain you if you're a five, because I just want to go on your yacht. <laughs> okay, all right. So like, Sarah's understand. being a little bit more real with her answer now, and I'll entertain him. Uh, you entertain him, okay? And Ayla, what about you? Um, I feel like a yacht doesn't change my like rating i feel yeah. like it's more a car that would change my rating a car a yeah, so yacht? If they have a uh, i don't know i never been on a yacht i just want to be able to live on a yacht one day so but okay. it's just gonna be us two on the yacht no like, i'm just saying he's a he's a five but he own a yacht like it. yeah that's i mean boat. i guess then it would be the same with the car then it's like okay you go up a little bit but you don't go up to a 10 okay but he goes up a little he bit. goes up a little bit got it got it okay so these girls is being a little no fugazi uh hey where the ladies at could you tell them to uh hurry on up back so they can answer this question and we can move right along um <laughs> yo the chat while i'm right now yeah. so I'll get into it once these ladies come back and answer this question. They probably want to quit. You think your sis want to quit? No. Nah. No, nah, she good? All right, bet. You think they do want to quit back there, Dan? Predicted it before we started. Dan did predict it. <laughs> yeah. And we got my intern, Dan, on a switchboard today. So uh, you should get some better production today. Yeah. Uh, the audio should be much clearer Seven and more. the visuals, yeah. too. Shay gonna quit. Why? She gonna walk What'd off. What'd you say? I said, Shay gonna walk off. Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know. Um... You good, Ayla? Oh, oh All right, got you, got you. I and you chat, if y'all have any questions, send a super chat in. We get into it. I see, I see you, DJ uh, DJ Lion. We're going to get to your question in a second, bro. DJ Lion. Yeah, I'm telling We're going to get to your uh, question, your, uh, your super chat in a second. Let me just ask these ladies this last question. So, uh, Shay, yourself. Uh, he's a five, but he owns a yacht. Uh. Rating change stays the same, goes down. <sighs> <laughs> like, you're not about to make me a meme right now. <laughs> what you mean? It's, it's a dude, is a five, and nah, looks, you about to but he owns your a yacht. What's his rating? There are people that own yachts that are fucking tens. That's like, like what? Okay, cool. Yeah. But I'm talking about this guy just in his physical looks. He's a five. Now, what would his ratings be when you find out he owns a yacht? Is he cool? <laughs> is he nice? <laughs> he could be all of those things, but does his rating change? Is he genuine? No, it's not. It's not. Is he genuine oh and God, pure? Shay, like, yeah, yeah, Shay. Answer, answer the, the question, question, yo. Oh, my goodness. And ladies, ladies. Shut quick, up. You me, asking me a question. I'm asking you to elaborate on the question. The fuck? Yeah, ladies, ladies. Let me give you out a... And stop. Please don't cuss at the host. Um, So, ladies. Yeah, this is you. What <laughs> this twin, is what don't saying. fucking cuss at me. He didn't, he didn't cuss at you. Oh, I cussed at you. Listen, listen. Shay, one more at a time. Ladies. Y'all on a podcast... I'm asking y'all a question. It's very simple. You don't well, you're have not to letting us elaborate why. the We're question, get, though. So, ladies, you got to pay attention. We're going to get into all of the elaborations. But <sighs> one, one, I just want you to answer the question. It's very simple. You say he's still a five or you say his rating goes down or up. So he's a five. He owns a yacht. So can I just say it don't matter to me? But you have to answer. So you That's just have answer. to say it. 
No, no, it no, don't no, no. matter. You didn't, you're not following the rules, Shay. Oh the my rules, God, you're forcing me into. No, no, it's not. It's not forcing me. Yes, you are. You're anything. forcing me into answering a question when I just said he just remains what he is. Okay, so he's That's, still a five. He is what the fuck he was when it started. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's a cool. Five. That's that simple. So you answered the question. It? That wasn't that hard. Um, move it right along, Vana. Same question for you. So he's a five, but he owns a yacht. Does that change Jesus your Christ. answer or no? Or is he the same? <clears throat> He's the same. He's the same. Got it. So it wouldn't change. Okay, cool. Um, all right. I'm so a lot of y'all ladies, <laughs> a, a lot of y'all ladies gave, uh, <laughs> a lot of y'all ladies gave, uh, uh, besides Sarah and Ayla, y'all kind of switched up your answer a little bit based off the guy's status. You know what I mean? Um, and that's what this question was pertaining to. So the audience can see that women are attracted to a multitude of different things when it comes to a man. So based off a man's status, women tend to find the man a little Some. bit more attractive. Um, so it could be, and once again, one mic at a time, it could be, you know, small things, things where it's like, okay, like a yacht, a car, he's rich, things like that. We all know this, but these ladies are having a hard time answering a question so i got another question for y'all we're gonna start with ayla so ayla uh what is your ideal man uh height age oh, no i'm said age height race and income no actually uh, you was answering a question i'm just gonna ask these three that these four that had a hard time answering it let's start with vana vana ideal man let's do height uh race and income Okay, so <clears throat> height don't really matter to me. Yeah. Anymore. Um, <laughs> anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, because I'm just saying that because I experienced someone like, you know, like that wasn't too tall, but wasn't it wasn't shorter than me. But you know what I'm saying? Like height doesn't really matter to me anymore. Race doesn't matter to me. Race hasn't mattered to me at all. Um, what else did you say? Okay, so uh, you said race doesn't matter, so you'll date a Chinese guy? Yeah. Have you ever dated the Chinese guy? No. Would you date an Indian with the dot? <laughs> I would. Have you ever? No. Okay, did you ever get a Chinese or Indian to approach you? No. Would you ever date a white guy? Yeah. Have you ever dated a white guy? No. Did you ever get a white guy to approach you? Mm-mm. You lying. White guys definitely approach you. Well, yeah. But so you I'm turned lying. him down. I, yeah, because I probably was like, I had a boyfriend. I was in a relationship at the oh, time. Oh, you probably had it in a relationship right. at the time. Okay, but did you find you find him attractive? No. He no. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. And what's your uh, income? What income My do you income? want your ideal? Like, this is your dream guy. What's the income you want him to have? I really don't know. I really, like, I feel like it really doesn't it really doesn't matter. Okay, so he make as long as you know like five, it. you know he make five hundred every two months. It's cool with you. Every two months. <laughs> yeah, every two months. So he make two two, two uh, he make uh, two hundred fifty dollars okay, a month. Okay, I can say he can't less he can't make less than me. Okay, so what's how much do you want him to make? You are twenty, so I, I know you not you don't really know much about income. Let's say is forty thousand dollars forty thousand dollars a year. Is that okay? A year. Yeah. Is that like acceptable for you or no? I mean, I guess, but you can't say I don't know a lot about income. Like I'm very independent, so I know I know an, enough about income. Well, I said that you don't know a lot about income because you can't answer the question. Because so like, it's not really like I don't care about that. Like I don't know. That's that's like got you. My, so forty thousand dollars a year is that okay for you? I guess yeah. For an ideal guy, like your mm -hmm. dream guy. Okay, that's not bad. What about you, Sarah? Ideal, like in my dream, ideal in my dream world. Dream world. The race doesn't really matter to me. I'm not that I'm playing off of what she's saying, but I've I've dated black men. I've dated white men. I haven't dated Hispanic men. However, I am open to it okay um so that's the race card age yeah anywhere above 
28. 28 to... Well, no, no, not age. No, uh, I thought that was 20 years. No, race, income. height, income. So, oh, race, height, and yeah, income. Yeah, what's the height? The height? Yeah. Ideal. Ideally, six, two and up. Okay, six, two and up. All right, and um, income. Income, at yeah. least... At least, like, 95,000. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Ninety five k. I I I ain't say no more. She being realistic. And uh, Jay, what about you? Um, as far as race, that really don't don't play a role. Is who you are as a person. Um, height. You definitely got to be t at least taller than me. I'm five two. I mean, so you gotta at least be taller than me. Um, okay. And income. Um, I really don't. It's the mindset. For real. If you have a hustling mindset, if you get to it, then the income doesn't really like as long as you bring it to the table, like what I'm bringing to the table. That's it. Got you, got you. Uh, that's fair enough. So, uh, forty thousand dollars a year is that fine? He's putting a number. It, yeah, yeah like that want, number gotta kind of go out the table. I'm not gonna sit there and say yeah. a specific number. It don't matter. It's it's your mindset and how mm -hmm. you want to be and where you want to go in life. Period. Okay. And if you're making those steps to be better. Got you. It. So he makes fifteen thousand dollars a year. Is that acceptable for you? You gotta that. No, nah, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not putting numbers. That's it. Well, no, it's not. I want to know. The question is, what is your ideal man? So if a man makes fifteen thousand dollars a year, would you accept that as your ideal man? Remember, this you is got, in a perfect world. You gotta at yeah, it's least, like in a perfect world, like like I said, like you gotta at least to bring make it to the make table sense. What I got you, ladies. This is a this is the part of the podcast where you get to build your nigga, build right. a man. Right. So build say like your dream guy, right? What would you want this guy to be? That's what I'm talking about. So you could give income if you want him to be a billionaire. You want to be six foot ten. However you want him to be, you get to build this guy. That's the question. Right. Yeah, you can have money. Okay, and what? But we want to know what would be that height, the figure, and a race. I know you already said races. You don't care. Yeah. Cool. And then you said height. At least as long as he's taller than taller me. Than but you. like, at least like four inches. You know, like you so know, like tall not are you? one inch how taller tall than me. I'm five two. Okay, so five six. Five seven. <laughs> Dang, so high, right, so five. <laughs> at least, at least. Okay, five seven. So this is what we want, and ladies. Uh, is men watching and is women watching? They want to know your preferences. It's okay to give your preferences. You won't look bad giving your preferences. No, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now income. This your ideal man. You get to build this nigga. What would it be? I don't know. I'm not. Like I said, it's it's really to the mindset. Like you gotta, like okay, have money. Like cool. Got it. But I'm now since you're saying it's the mindset, I'm saying that his mindset, he only want to make fifteen thousand dollars a year. That's not okay though, because that's not making. You're not got making it, any type of because so since if you that's not okay, bring math into it. Yeah, fifteen thousand so, dollars a year. That's yeah, Jay. You're not even bringing at least a thousand. God, <laughs> I mean, cool. month, like that's crazy. <laughs> well, he, that's a little much. Like, come the on. <laughs> I mean, fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen is crazy. It's still crazy. bringing over a thousand, a thousand. But what it's I'm saying still, is, just give a number. What what would the number be? And gonna, actually, you could give the minimum number. So we already know fifteen thousand dollars isn't enough. So what would be the minimum number? You don't got to give the big number. We're gonna put number. a minimum, minimum of eighty. That's it. And that's just I'm just putting a number there because we're gonna move on to the next person. Okay. I'm not gonna stick to me. Like, cool. Say no more. Much. And Shay, what oh, about you? My. I just feel like we should just skip me. We should just skip me. Okay, answer the question. Go ahead. What? <laughs> so, what's your ideal man? This is buildthenigga.com. Okay, so my <laughs> ideal man, he definitely he definitely got to be taller than me. I'm 5'3". So, we're not going to be... Okay, do you want that. him to be like, uh, your sis said 5'7"? Five, 5'7 seven, five, seven is okay? Or sh can he be shorter? Can he be 5'5"? Five, I would five? say like 5'7 five, and up is good. Five seven and up. You still okay. gonna piss me off if you five seven, but it's all right. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, what was the other questions? Okay, the other question um is race raises. and income. Yeah. Race. Listen, I don't got no discrimination towards nobody. <laughs> I don't look at someone and be like, oh, like I don't have a type. So, anyone who just catches my like vibe off energy. 
It don't matter if you white, black, Asian. You got yeah. a fucking mark on the middle of your forehead. It is what it is. Like, you know, right, if I like enough. you, I like you. Got it. So you um, are equal opportunity and plus. And uh, what is the, yeah, uh, the mi income. minimum income? So with me, uh, I hustle. I get money. Um, 15000 isn't enough for me. But it's not necessarily about. And that's where it's like you're not going to leave me at a standstill with it. I'm just gonna say that at the end of the day, Wait, like, what was the amount she said? No, nah, fifteen thousand is just no. No, no, no. I I said fifteen thousand to her. No, nah, but you you want me to make like a number, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna say that if you hustling towards something that you love and you know you're gonna get there, I'm gonna respect it. So I'm not gonna pick you based off the numbers necessarily. Fifteen thousand is little reach, being that we got bills to pay. Um, but I'm not okay, gonna cool. ask so for an extended amount. That's what you can't. You can't yeah, ask me. So you might have to move on to the question because you can't ask me a specific number. If you working hard towards a goal, yeah, I'm not asking you a maximum. So you this ask is, me a specific. Though. No, no, no. But it's just to give a number. But it's based off the minimum, right? So the minimum is if you have a guy, is he's your height preference, he's your race preference, he's your personality preference, like y'all vibes together. And I genuinely love him. You know, it's just. All of it, right? No, but I'm now I'm saying to. that what would be the minimum that you want your ideal man to make? The minimum? And you like, that has got bigger plans for us. Might be like 60, 70K. That's like a, what's that shit? Where it's like you live in like in between the lines with. Okay, chat. So. Pay attention to everything that they just said. So the first question that we asked them, uh, well, we asked them, we asked you a lot of questions. Um, <laughs> we asked you like four different questions and it was based off the guy's status. Like, okay, the guy's a five, but he owns a yacht. The guy's a four, but he's a millionaire. Um, we asked a multitude of different questions and the ladies pretty much, well, these three ladies, four ladies, I believe, the answers all stayed the same. Besides yours changed a little bit, Sarah. Um, so, and ladies, pay attention to this because your ideal man is only making a certain amount of money, right? You already said, you said, what's a 60, 70, you said 80, um, you said 95, mm -hmm. right? And then I think you said 40 was okay for the minimum. 50, well, Fit you picked, I just said, yeah. Yep, 70. 50 or 40, right? Yeah. So, think about it, right? And y'all couldn't y'all answer stayed the same on these guys so y'all ladies was being super 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 duper fugazi based off your answers think about it if you met a guy and he is he looks like him whatever rating you think uh <laughs> ease is right you see ease because 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 why y'all not fooling nobody you why see you ease right <laughs> Look, you see oh, ease now. Why are you wicked? And then after the, <laughs> ladies, one might got a time. One might got a time and pay attention. So you see ease. Y'all all chilling with ease right now. He's on the couch. When we go outside and we leave the studio, now you have a rating in your head of ease. But when we leave the studio and ease hops in his Lambo Urus, that's going to change your perception of no. ease. It no. is a fact. That's your it's problem. Not, it is a fact. You're yeah. so mad when it is a who fact. you are as a person. Man, you know what? It's you just you're okay, okay, but there's people with higher well, I got rate Let's just go real quick. No, if it, 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 it goes down to your energy. If I got to sit here and chat with him and I didn't like how he was as a person, of his if his mindset, how he thinks, how he moves and stuff, then his rating does not go up. Yeah, I'm not talking on, it doesn't about matter that. what car it, we are yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. that. No, no, no. We're not talking about the beginning okay, so stage, we're not right? talking about that. Yeah, He's so still lady, saying Jay, the same yeah, rating. I got you, Jay. That's it. You no guy would stay the same rating in you ladies' eyes. No, you mm, can't you're just not gonna shut down our perspective is. Well, we gotta move it right along because are. They being super no, and also don't be disrespectful. Be very respectful. We're not okay? being disrespectful. No, no, no. When I'm speaking, one mic at a time. That's I let y'all cool. rock, and y'all didn't want to answer certain questions, and I let that go. But we right now, I need y'all to be very respectful. <laughs> We, and if y'all want to get up and go, y'all can get off the podcast. It's very cool. Girls leave all the time. Y'all just look crazy leaving because that means that y'all running off because y'all don't want to, y'all scared of, you know, uh, the perspective that I'm bringing out. And that's totally cool. Can I say something? But no, at the end of the day, we go into <laughs> Super Chat. So Super Chat, and then I'm going to let you ask a question. <laughs> so Super Chats, we got DJ Lion in here. He sends in $14. He says, <laughs> what is considered as an insecure man? Ladies, give me one example 
Thanks, Cooley. You're the man. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for supporting. So we could go around uh, with this question on the panel. Let's start with Ayla. Um, so what is considered an insecure man? Um, I guess a man who... Okay, so I, I feel like in a relationship, you should be able to wear what you want, but don't disrespect yeah. yourself or your partner. But I feel like a man who says, like, you can't walk outside like that is an insecure man. I okay. think, you know, him controlling you and telling you, like, you can't do certain things. If you're not disrespecting him or yourself, I, I don't feel like that should be something that happens in a relationship and vice versa. I don't feel like a female should be controlling towards a man either. Okay, okay. Uh, chat. Um, the shade's coming on, so we about to get active. Uh-oh. <laughs> shade's coming on. Uh, and everyone on Facebook, if y'all tuned in on Facebook right now, I'm going to close out the Facebook chat because the content about to get a little bit more spicier. Mm -hmm. Too spicy for Facebook. So, uh, I'm closing out Facebook. Everybody on Facebook, come over to YouTube. Um, and come over right now. I think on Facebook. Oh, Facebook, we look. We got over 500 people on Facebook. So, we yeah, I'm closing should. this out. Come on over to uh, YouTube right now. Okay. And Facebook is closed out. Okay, cool. So, you said that an uh, insecure man would be a guy that um, is telling you what to wear. It's an example. Yeah. That's an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so why would that make him insecure if he wants to uh, protect you from yourself? Well, so what do you mean by that? Like, well, what what would you say? Like, I don't think a female walking outside with a see-through shirt and no bra on, like, that's not respectful. Okay. But if you're walking uh -huh. out, you have your belly showing and he's like, you can't go outside like that. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. So like, he, you're going outside and you have your belly out and he's saying that you, he doesn't want you to wear that right and ease you said that's crazy no um if it do if you just have your belly out i don't think that's an issue that's what okay I was saying, like, and yeah. every guy has their own Perfect. preferences as far as what they want their lady to wear when they're out right? right so it's up to the man so if you chose to be with a guy and his preference is to you know not let you show your belly then shouldn't you adhere to that or no so i think it depends because if he this is where like it gets complicated because let's say like on social media, if he's going to be yeah. out here like following females who will dress crazy or liking pictures like that, well, why can't I dress like that? What's the problem? You like it, obviously. Yeah, you, you want to dress like the girls that he thinks is whores? But if you're showing your stomach, that's like saying he can't wear gray sweatpants. No, no, gray, gray sweatpants is okay. Yeah, um, that's, that's okay. <laughs> but it's like, how, how can you compare that? <laughs> if I could tell my man, like, don't wear gray sweatpants, that's like him telling me. I feel like that's the comparison because okay. guys. Fair enough. We'll get into it a little bit more. We'll get into that more. So yours is just like an insecure man is. That's just an know, example. I don't cool. really know generally. I mean, I guess maybe somebody who. Well, well no, that's cool. Let's leave it. Let's have the other ladies answer. Um, and what about yourself? Uh, what would you consider an insecure man? I just feel like you knew me when you met me. Yeah. At the end of the day. And, like, you had me on social media. You knew what I was doing. And I feel like an insecure man is when, like, they have a problem with you posting yourself. I want to say every day, but, like, every other day, you know. Um, I so an insecure her. man is a guy that is, he has a problem if you're, like, posting yourself, like, every other day? Yeah, like if you like posting yourself, it's not like I feel like I post myself not for other men, like for myself. Yeah, so wouldn't you say that during dating a man, he pitches himself to a woman? Like men are the ones that normally approach women, mm -hmm. and then women are the ones that advertise themselves, right? So women advertise them because women don't really approach men. Um, some do, of course, you know, a few that approach men. Um, but generally speaking, women don't approach men. Right. Um, and generally speaking, men are the ones that approach women, right? So a man that has a preference of you always posting all the time, um, that's you advertising yourself. You get what I'm saying? It would be the same if, if that man is still courting women. He's still like, you know, going out of gas station at Walmart, at a club, and he's approaching women, trying to talk to them, trying to get their number. That's a that's the equivalent to a guy courting women to a woman continuously always posting maybe thirst traps online. 
Because right. you're advertising yourself. You get what I mean? Right. But it's like if my mindset is not not for a man to like, all right, I'm going to post this just to see if like he's going to try to talk to me or get yeah. somebody's attention. That's not what I'm posting myself for. And a guy's mindset when he's courting women is not to get into a relationship with them. It's just to see what's up in a smash. Right. But that's not sure. what I'm trying to do. You feel Got me? you. Right. So that's that's my answer. Yeah, but do you get the equivalent of what I mean? So you I understand okay, you, got your you. point. Yeah. But what my mindset is is not to um get anybody's attention or try to like smash a nigga or anything. Yeah, you're just you're just advertising yourself. It's not even advertising. It is advertising yourself. It's doing it for me though. It you may think that it's for if it's advert if it's for you, you would take a picture and leave it on your phone. But you post that picture so the world can see. And I have it in my phone. And you have it in your phone. So right. what I'm saying is that when women take pictures, and any human being that takes a picture, man and woman, and we post it up online, it's for other people to see. It's mm -hmm. not for just yourself. It can be just for yourself. It can be for yourself, but also it's for the world to see. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my point is that a man that is having a preference like okay yeah you posting too much all the time the reason why it, it, it would be equivalent to the man out there you know hollering at girls pitching himself at other females you wouldn't like that right if your man was talking to another girl no okay just like the man wouldn't want his girl posting thirst traps it's the equivalent because women I don't post advertise that. themselves and men pitch themselves yeah. if that makes sense but yeah. i'm not saying you post thirst traps right. in it's general just, it's just in my general. face Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So that's so you so we got one dress code, we got two post and pics. And, okay. Oh, okay. Oh no, you had another one? Go ahead. Um also like with like friends of the different like opposite sex. Oh, guy friends. Right. So mm. so you think a man is insecure because you have guy friends? He's not insecure. Okay, we'll go on that. Yeah. A chat. Take notes. Uh nice Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> what about for yourself? A couple of things. A man that is insecure means that he's insecure in his masculinity. So a man that cannot lead in a relationship is okay. insecure. A man that gaslights you and manipulates you into being who he wants is also insecure. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. But I that, got, was, I gotta go to the bathroom. that was a valid answer. And uh, what about, oh no, you go, you, you, you go ahead, Shay. I'm sorry. And Jay, what about yourself? I feel like a man who's insecure is like they start problems in the relationship. Okay. So like, say you're in a relationship and you guys are going good. And then all of a sudden he starts like coming at you for like, who's calling your phone or who's texting you or okay. who's liking your pictures and stuff. Okay. So what made you switch? You know what I mean? That's what I started looking at. Like what made you switch up like that? You're proud. It's that guilty conscience and you are probably doing something okay. you're not supposed to be doing. And that's what's making you insecure, your own actions. Got you, got that's, you. That's for me. So you're saying that a man will be insecure if he's asking you who you text and where you at, what you doing, stuff like that. Yeah, if that was never and, and like, like it an came out before. of the blue. Yeah, like if we was rocking with each other for a while and we, we've been chilling and we're good yeah. and stuff. And then every time I get a ding on my phone or a phone call, it's, oh, who's that? Or, oh, is your nigga calling you? Or is this out in a third? You know, so... It's like, okay, that's, okay, I see that's what, what you're it saying. comes down to. Got you. So if it's just out of the blue and he's yeah, and he's wanting he starts that. moving differently. Okay, so you saying like, hmm, maybe you're uh you said that, hmm, like maybe what is the guy that up guilty to? Conscience. Guilty conscience. Yeah. So that's not really insecure. That's no, like, I I would say that because it's he he's he's bringing up like if there's another another person, you know what I mean? Like if he's if 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 things like that. I don't know. So Okay. That, that's for my preference. That's that's what I feel and that's what I think. Okay. You know, you may view it differently as if she may view it differently. No, no, and that's, and that's totally fine. I'm not mm -hmm. trying to change what you think. I'm just asking for clarification. Yeah. Ease, uh, because we waiting on Shay. What's your thoughts on this? <laughs> um, in terms of uh what what they find in a man that's insecure. Yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts on this, bro? Well, the whole dressing thing, I don't think a man is insecure if he wants you to dress a certain way because us men, we know how men are, especially when they get liquor in this system. You know I mean, when a girl goes out to the club or the bar and she's yeah half naked or showing a lot of cleavage or a lot of skin, 
we know guys are going to push up. And some, some guys are not respectful at all. You know what I'm saying? So when a guy says, no, don't dress this way, it's because we know that it's going to be that one Shay, dude. you good. You could come back. We know that it's going to be that one dude who's just not going to have respect. It's probably going to grab you inappropriately or, you know what I mean, or just be aggressive and, gotcha, and gotcha. can't take no for an answer. So when we say don't dress like that, it's because we're trying to just save you from that one dude or many dudes that just don't have respect for a man whatsoever. Got you, got you. Yeah, exactly what um, Ease is saying. He's pretty much saying like a man isn't insecure because of the way you dress. He's just trying to protect you. Um, that's his masculine essence is to... Um, you know, really protect you from yourself. We know that girls just want to have fun, like that famous song. So we know that you want to have a good time. But um, if you are dressing a certain way and going to a certain place, just leaving the house dressing a certain way, um, it could put you in a precarious situation that could damage the relationship. A woman is a mere reflection of her man. So if the woman is out there dressing provocative and, you know, like a 304, well, that reflects the man's masculinity because it's like, huh, OK, you, your girl is just dressing like this. You not with her and, you know, she's wherever right now. So that reflects the man. For example, Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. We all know that Will Smith was the Fresh Prince. Everyone respected Will Smith. He was Independence Day. He was, you know, all of those uh, great movies. I, Robot, all of those great movies that we remember. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, after Jada Pinkin went on this, you know, this, you know, irate thing, you know, the, the, the slurish ideas and the things that she was saying um, about Will Smith and her fantasies for a dead man, which is Tupac, it kind of, everyone is looking at Will Smith like, huh, you ain't that dude. Your girl ain't even, you don't even got your girl in line. She's just talking crazy and acting crazy. You get what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, Shay, what about you? What makes a man insecure? Just your opinion. So, Shay. Every time I ask you a question, you can't answer a question. What's up? You okay? Because I don't want to be a part of your fucking memes. Like, I can't thoroughly answer the question without you being like, oh, one mic this, one mic that. Well, no, this is the time where you could, what makes a man insecure and why? You could speak. Yeah, there's no wrong answer. It's just what you No wrong answer. It's literally what you yeah, think. What do you think? Well... If you also do want to go back into what you were just saying about Will Smith and Jada, whatever. Um, well, first, wait, but he never. The, I got you. I got you. Let's you first. You don't know the nothing about their then relationship. Let's get into. If you See, want to get into I'm, Jada and Will Smith, that's. This is my podcast, Shay. So. I'm giving you the rules. I'm asking you a question. You got to answer. I see you really can't take direction and guidance from a man. You have a hard time doing it. I think almost, not all, but a few of you ladies have a hard time taking direction no, from a man. No, I don't. From a man that's my man that might be paying my bills, yes. Okay, great. But you are in my building and on my podcast. Just like I gave you the common courtesy to when you came in, it was food, it was drinks, Okay, you had a it was it was a proper professional thing. You signed a contract, so the same. Yeah, what, and you the said same, it would how, be a fun, yeah, proper, what professional I'm podcast. Here, yes, yes, what I'm doing here, I'm being extremely professional with you, and you're being extremely unprofessional. I'm not saying rude, but you're being extremely unprofessional, and you can't answer simple questions. So I'll get to the Jada Pink and debate. We could do that, but first, what makes a man insecure? And this is not my question. This is the chats. Or what has a man done in a relationship with you that you thought was insecure or of him? Ease, okay. Good. Switching up the question to make it. He's trying to help you out. So, yeah, what, yeah. what would it be? Because <laughs> every dude acted insecure once or twice during a relationship. And I'm pretty sure you ladies here experience a man who did something insecure, and you're like, oh, no, I don't like that. That's insecure. That's low value. So what is something that a man did <laughs> when he was dating you that you felt was very insecure of him? There's no right or wrong answer. It's just, yeah, you know. go ahead. Are you going to answer? Um, I had a few answers, but I just don't want to backfire on me. Like... <laughs> I mean, what are you scared of? The podcast is called No Fugazi. Is answer the question. Be real. 
Got hundreds of people watching right now. You can't answer it. So are you going to answer it? Yes or no? If I skip it, would I be wrong? Uh, well, you can't skip a skip a question. If you want to skip okay, a... We're not so asking a person. You can skip a personal insecure, question. I just feel like at the end of the day, like when you're in a relationship, somebody isn't your territory. They're just like you with them and you could like express boundaries but when it comes to you feeling like they're your property, that's kind of where it's like thing. You say as though like a man wants to look out for you and wants to this and wants to that. That's cool. And it sounds good. That's fine. As a man, you should do that. And a man can do that. But half the time it be niggas that aren't men trying to sit here and dictate what the fuck we doing when they doing the complete opposite or yeah, they're so doing what we don't a question. want. So what is like what is something when that you're a man being does over controlling when you're trying to act Control. like my father, like you're sitting there telling me like oh like a time of this or you can't talk to this or you okay, doing this cool. like so no your sister kind of said that then okay fair enough yeah you're doing um, too much yeah your sister kind of said the same thing like ah um you know it, when a guy is wants to know your whereabouts and things no, we like had that. fathers so it's a it's a he talks to me about certain things that are limits to things yeah yeah rather and than and guys that come into your life and think like oh we're just being men like no i had a dad uh, i don't need you to come in my life and try to be a man i know what a man is supposed to do because my so dad is a, a man example of in, it so i got a question for you shay so a man that comes in your life and y'all get married right and this man is your husband and you're his wife um you don't think that the man should have rules and guidelines for the relationship that he granted to you and of course he should. Okay. And I'm not and will saying. Will you follow those rules and guidelines for yeah, the man as long that as got he on follows the ones that we have set too? But there's okay, also cool. an extent, like I said. And to what them, would be that extent? Where I just feel like, like if you do it more than like, if you just like trying to control me like more than my own dad is, like you doing too much. I can't got go you. out. I can't have a drink with my. I can't have fucking friends. I'm, I can't have a brunch with my friends. I'm doing. You just want me in the house doing this, doing that, and okay, just secluded so you, from everybody. You just got doing it. too so much. So your husband, <laughs> your husband, um, the man that granted you a relationship and he gave you a ring, he says, you know, babe, you you want to go out. Say for an example, you want to go. I just want your answer, right? Say for an example, you want to go out with your girls, and your husband is like. Uh, Shay, uh, I think you should stay in today. I want you to stay in today. Are you going to uh, respect your man and obey what he says, or are you going to be disobedient? If he says maybe today, but if you just telling me to stay in the crib all the time, you lost me. No, no, I'm just talking about for that one day. That one day, one day is out. okay. Got it, if, got if, it. I, if you're sitting there just telling so me, like, now, I so want now you to be I home and now, you're my listen, man, cool. Attention, right? So now another question for you, because I want to know your state of mind. So now the man, before, like, this is what he says. So when he's granting their relationship, he says, listen, I don't date girls that go to the club, that has guy friends, and that take single girls trips. Right. I don't date girls like that. Okay. And then you're like, okay, cool. But you like this man, you love this man. Y'all get into a relationship. You accept what he says. Mm -hmm. Are you going to disobey what he says because you want to take a girl's trip? Or you want to hang out with a guy friend? Or you want to go out? Or are you going to obey what your man says? The funny shit is I don't do that regardless. Got you. I don't, so you I don't, don't do go that. out and stuff. I don't go out to clubs. I, it's you not can that name... you don't do it. It's based off of if you want if you want to do it, but your man, you know that your man doesn't tolerate that. But he don't got to worry about that, so that's not in question regardless. Got you. So you yeah. saying that's not in question. It's not. Okay, fair enough. And chat, I see y'all in here wowing, bro. Don't <laughs> worry. Uh, my eye is on the prize. But um, as long as they answering questions, we're going to get through it, chat. Uh, but other than that, a lot of before I get to the super chats, ladies, do y'all have any questions? Yeah, I get asked questions. No questions. Okay. Why you don't let us fully talk though? Yes, I was thinking. You cut us off, yeah, that and is so fun. that's why you like. It's like I'm being respectful. I'm being in a respectful way. I'm asking you a respectful question. I'm just saying, you want our feedback, but to a limit. You want us like you want to cut us off so it sounds good, but you're not getting our full res like yeah, feedback yeah. So, on the questions. Ladies, when I ask you a question, and I know you know the answer to it as well. I know. No, you, I have a question. You got a question? Okay, got you. So when I'm asking a question. One, I ask questions in the beginning of the podcast, and then these was all from Super Chats. So when we're asking a question, we just want to answer. When I want you to elaborate on something, I'll tell you to elaborate. 
And now I'm at the point where I'm asking the late, asking y'all, do y'all have any questions? Y'all want to bring up topics y'all want to talk about and y'all don't have anything to say. Um, Ailey, you got something? Are you good? Are you good? Uh, but I get what you're saying. Anytime you're speaking, I'm going to let you speak, but you have to answer the question is what I'm saying. Uh, go ahead, Sarah. So I'm working on being more feminine because yes. I tend to be more in my masculine. Uh -huh. So the question is, how can I be, how can I embody more of my feminine qualities? Hmm. Good question. Good Let question. me ask you a question. <laughs> okay. Do you think any of these other girls on the podcast, put it on a big screen for me. Do you think any of these other girls on the podcast would be, uh, where you could adopt some of their feminine traits? Like, are they feminine enough where you can adopt their traits? Yes or no? Go ahead. You can switch it. Do I think they're feminine enough? So I what I'm saying is, feminine. Yeah, no, no, no. What I'm saying is you said, well, I want to be more feminine as a woman. I think it's more than just the way you dress. It could be a multitude of things, right? Dress. My question for you is you got four other girls. I'm not a girl. I'm a guy. You got four other ladies on a podcast. Do you want, do you see that these other girls have feminine qualities that you can adopt into yourself? I don't know yet because I don't know them very well. Okay. But from what you've just observed. No. Okay, exactly. Uh, chat, uh, Sarah being a little no fugazi. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, I'm the Sarah. only one wearing a dress. No fugazi. Hey, yo, let's give Sarah some love real quick. Um, I could give you a little bit of tips, Sarah, since okay. you asked the question. I appreciate uh, it. So, uh, I mean, I have a daughter. She's 11 years old. Some feminine qualities is, uh... It, it is the way you dress, is the way you speak, the tone of your voice. Um, it's the way you carry yourself. It's uh, the words you speak. It's cussing. It's not really <sighs> too feminine. It's like, ah, oh, why are you cussing? I gotta let that Drinking, one go. like getting drunk. Drinking is okay. You want to take a sip, but getting drunk to the point where you're like a little sloppy, that's not really too feminine. Uh, smoking, smoking isn't feminine at all. It's the most masculine thing a woman can do. Also, tattoos isn't feminine at all. Tattoos, when people get tattoos, they normally going through something or it's just like, ah, uh, it's it's just not <laughs> feminine. It's, it's I'm, a little I'm rough. Gonna, I'm going to fight you on the tattoo thing. I, go ahead. Sure. I so that means only men are allowed to have tattoos? But no, no. no, that no, sounds very that. sexist. Right. But yeah, life is sexist. It's an opinion. Yeah. Wait, so life is sexist? Life is sexist. Mm -hmm. A woman can get into a club what, for what free. What is life? A woman can sell feet pics and have an OnlyFans and make a lot, a lot of, money of money and uh, express their sexuality for an income. Uh, and yeah, but men can't do those same things. Yeah, they can. We can, but we uh, wouldn't be successful. Yeah, we at wouldn't it. be successful at it. And men don't get in the club for free. You are saying things that I would never do. Got you. Also, what's, you know what's sexist as well? If I take all of you ladies out to Miami, um, some of you will be able to get, uh, you know, get invited on a yacht for free. I will never get in yachted, invited on a yacht for free. I would have to buy a yacht and invite other women. So, so what I'm saying is uh, the world that we live in is sexist on both parts. Really, the only thing that's kind of sexist that a guy gets the benefit from is his sexuality. He doesn't get called a whore when he's being promiscuous. He gets called a pimp and a player. A woman that's being promiscuous is a whore and she gets called a whore. I have a question. Yeah. What does that have to do with me having tattoos? Well, we can talk about that. Can I ask a question too? Yeah, yeah. But oh, you good? You want her to ask? No, no. Go ahead, she go ahead, can go for so it. So what do you feel like? the traits that we had that you felt like weren't feminine enough that you just well, said well no. I don't know you guys very well that's what I'm saying so we weren't able to speak because clearly we got shut down and had to right. answer a right. simple question so we had didn't I, get to elaborate on absolutely so yeah. had I known you guys better maybe there are some yeah qualities. that was just a question you said yeah. he was wearing a dress so what you were saying the whole feminine, feminine thing I'm the only one wearing a dress I just wanted to ask in no, regards sure. to that I you you don't know me. I haven't been able to elaborate on my answers because it was just it was just they want the simple Absolutely. Throat, yeah, you know, absolutely. For the That's yeah, all. I was yeah, nothing Even against you guys. Elaborating at all. on your answers is the body language. When I ask you questions, you uh you putting your head down, you doing things, you not answering. That's all like come on now like that's but i feel like if we're doing that because based off that we feel like you're gonna make this shit like a meme maybe but what not because meme, not even, question. you're not like, letting us no. answer the question and yeah. elaborate on the but, fact no, of what who I'm we are as women like you're trying to like shut us down you, and be like oh it's my podcast what i'm saying is that you walk. having an inability you want to i'll tell you the reason why you she think y'all masculine 
You have an inability to answer questions and you have an attitude. That's why she thinks you're masculine. You couldn't no, answer she any said questions. that we didn't get to elaborate and that was the reason why. Yeah. yeah. But she didn't get to hear more of our masculine. voice. Not no, because what you just it's said. It's not the fact that we not we are answering questions. Like we are like did we not answer? Well, you answer questions. questions. We all did. <laughs> oh, I I thought they answered the questions. Yeah. <laughs> they I had to force it. I mean, but I we had still to force answer some questions them, out of y'all. But okay. still, it's the attitude. It's like a, ch it's like a child almost. It's like, oh, well, I have okay. to do this. It's attitude. like being rebellious. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm not asking y'all, you know, what's y'all body count? We can, we ain't even get to the hard stuff. I'm asking y'all simple questions that the chat is at. I didn't. I only asked y'all one question really. Well, that it was like four questions, but then the chat was asking questions. Right. So, if you want to be be fully honest, Sarah, why do you yeah. think they masculine? Oh God! This podcast called No Fugazi. <laughs> Say it with your chest, Sarah. You don't but know I, them. We all. I, mean, but I don't know them well enough. I think. But it's but exactly. it's something about no, them also but, what but you observe you that makes them masculine. Um, did you call us masculine or did I you didn't say, say that? Right? Did I'm you say you, you he asked you a question? Was like based off of things follow, that we couldn't like, elaborate no, ourselves. We're masculine, always embodying said, either yeah, feminine, feminine or, or masculine qualities. I have a lot of masculine qualities. I hustle hard. I love being that way however i recognize that in order for me to find the man that i want in my life i need to embody more feminine qualities and so i yeah. need to be more of a embodying that so i always pretty much wear dresses or jeans or workout clothes like that that's all i wear yeah 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 so i mean the, of course the way you dress so, that so, shows so the i get it the way you're dressed i like that how you said the way you carry yourself so yeah the way i i try to carry myself like a lady but there are times when I meet a man and I go to give a handshake and I give a firm handshake because it's just as this is what I've been taught, right? Yeah, and 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 Sarah, hey, put it on a wide angle. Sarah, can you stand up for the chat so they, they see, how, see how see how tall you are? Yeah. Uh, which which camera? Uh, this one right here in front. Let's take a step back. Hey, chat. She like six two. No, <laughs> well, I with the heels on. Got a little heel. What the hell is not? Nah, she's 5'11", but with heels on, she's probably like 6'1". Um, so already off the bat, the advice that I would give you, you're, you, my mom is 5'10", and my sister, both my sisters are 6'. Yeah. And my daughter, she's going to be real tall. My daughter is already 5'4". So any woman that's tall, you get what I'm saying? You really want to express those feminine traits because you're bigger than most men. You know what and I'm saying? And most women, yeah. And most, you're bigger than, yeah, most, you're bigger than most men and, and most women. women. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the way you carry yourself, the way you talk, the tonality is a big one. Um, uh, it, it's a multitude of other things we could get in, but let, let me get on to the, actually, let me get on to Shay. You had a question, right? Another one? Oh, it's one. I thought you had a question. Okay, you already asked that question. Uh, does any other ladies have questions before I get into the chat? No? Nope. And Shay, can you sit back? Because they actually can't see you. Put the camera on her real quick. Just so you can see, like, when you move forward, you kind of get out of the picture. Um, okay, so we got Tony Bar <laughs> Tony Bardet. Hey, Tony, you've been supporting for a minute, man. I appreciate your support. He says in $10, he says, ladies, when you have a job, make money, pay bills, and handle responsibilities, obligations, and duties, you are not being independent. You're being an adult. Hey, Ooh. that's facts. That is facts. Do y'all agree with uh Tony? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I agree. Looks yeah. like they looks like they agree with you, Tony. Um, next question. Aaron Weeks. Thanks for supporting again, man. Sends in uh two dollars and seventy nine cents. <laughs> uh, he's from another country. I see. What country are you from? Uh, let me know what country you from, man. Because I see it doesn't have the regular dollar sign. It has another symbol next to it. Um, I understand attitude from hot girl, but these girls are sad. Uh, see who what you're saying. Wait, who though? Who's, who's hot uh, girl? I don't know. Uh, Aaron Weeks, which one is the hot girl? Let us know. <laughs> Point it out. Yeah, let us know which one is the hot girl. Uh, Tony Barnett sends in $5. He says, men and women are different, ladies. What qualities do you think men find in potential wife? And do you have those qualities? Good question. Good question. Good question. Let's start with uh, Ayla. <laughs> Ayla. So uh, Tony Barnett says, men and women are different. 
Um, ladies, what qualities do you think men find in a potential wife? And do you have those qualities? I don't know. Y'all messed my head up because now I'm like second guessing because I would think that a man would want a woman who like isn't, I guess, equal to them, but like somebody who does work, somebody who makes their own money. But then from your perspective, from a man's perspective, it seems like y'all look for females who you can provide for and take care of. So I don't really know, honestly. I, I'm a little lost about what, like, about how a female is supposed to, I guess, attract a man. Okay, well, we'll, like, we'll get feel, to that. Okay. If you don't know, that's totally fine. You don't have to know. But thank you for at least giving the an answer. Mm -hmm. um, and what about yourself? Vana, right? Yeah. Um, I feel like a female that, like, hustles, like, can bring something to the table that, this something to the table. And what would that something be? Um... You could like name a few things or one. Just to like have something going for yourself. Okay. Like like, like what? Like a job, good money, like what uh I would say I feel like a job is not an like that's just my opinion because like a nine it's to totally five fine, is yeah. not something like my like for myself, a nine to five is not something I would want to do for the rest of my life. So I feel like something that you're like a talent like something I, I don't know if everybody's not don't have a talent okay a talent she's yeah, a scuba I'm, diver who her yeah yeah um, you think uh, a husband will be looking you he, you think a husband would want his potential wife to be a scuba diver that's a talent maybe <laughs> maybe that's not something he's looking for but like and if she can make money with that, then... Okay, so you're streaming back from... You said it before. You said, like, hustle. So you're looking at, like, finances. Right. You want the... You, you're saying that a, a, a man looking for a potential wife will want that woman to have her, like, money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can, can I change ahead. my answer? Sure. Actually, thinking about it, I feel like if a man's looking for a potential wife, he's probably looking for somebody who could be a good mother or a, a good partner when it comes to a family mm -hmm. okay right. and also yeah. someone sure. that can cook and you know just do the basics that's what you're supposed to do around the house you feel okay me? cool and what about you sir someone told me today that he's looking for a leader he's looking for somebody that's funny looking for somebody that likes to travel i see where i'm going to add to that someone who can put money on the table and also can cook, clean, take care of the kids, X, Y, Z, because they want, I think a lot of men want a good housewife. Okay. I think, I think a lot of men want to do more traditional gender norms and they just don't admit it. Okay. I think the, the men that lead actually admit it. Got it. Yeah. And Jay, what about yourself? Yeah, I kind of feel the same way of what. It depends on what, like, as far as a man and a boy, you know what I mean? But as far as a man who has their self-established and stuff, they are looking for more women who know how to take care of home while they're at work. Yeah. You know, but I feel like as a woman, if I'm doing all of that, then you do your part. But if I'm doing all of that plus more, plus paying bills and stuff, then you have to pitch in as well. You know, I feel like that's just something you guys have to come to an understanding as. But I guess the point of this question is what are men looking for? For a potential they, wife. Yeah, yeah, they do look for more like housewives, you know, women who. It, it's a broad question. It, it, it's hard to sit there and put an exact answer for things. But a lot of it's men. It's whatever you think. Yeah, a lot of men do look for women who can cook, clean, do this, do that, do grocery shopping, do set up the appointments and stuff and everything but as a man you should be doing your part as well to get that out of a woman that's, that's yeah that. i got you we're not speaking about that yet but i feel what you're saying no we are we're we're speaking of the broad spectrum that's what i'm speaking about so that's I my got answer you. yeah yeah so when i say we're not speaking about that that's not the question but we're gonna get i to, answered the question yeah we Thank could you, get though. to those things that you want to speak about for sure because yeah. once again uh just to explain to the chat and to the ladies 
when we get around the questions, yeah, ask questions, I'm going to give it to y'all to ask questions. So that's that time when you could bring up the stuff you just said, or you could ask a question. Anybody could then speak about whatever you want to speak about. So you get what I'm saying? Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like I'm not, I don't want you to speak. I just, it's a certain time to get that out. Yeah. Okay. And what about you, Shay? What's the question again? I'm sorry. Yeah. So, um, question is from Tony Barnett. He sends in a super chat. He says, uh, ladies, what qualities do you think men find in a potential wife? Um, I just feel like, and then he also says, do you have those qualities? I forgot about that one. We'll go around. again. I feel like I do have every quality. <laughs> I X every like check. I check you every, check off every box. Yeah, like because I cook, I clean, I pay bills, I got my own money, I go to the gym, I have a whole bunch of different ways that I have income. I take care of my kid. That's very smart, very well taken care of. That I don't ask a man to, you know what I'm do for. So I just feel like when it comes to what a guy asks for in a man, everything I just said. What a guy and asked also, for in a woman. Yeah, in a woman. Yeah. And I'm very, like, funny, so you can have a best friend in that. I'm very thorough. I love hard, and I'll have your back. Someone that's very genuine and pure. I feel like I just, I answered both of the questions in one. I cross off all the X's and okay. O's. Okay, and, and you saying that you have those qualities. And yeah, show of hands, ladies, y'all did uh, put it on uh, four for me. You could just put it back to, yeah. Anytime it, that happens, yeah, put it to four. Show of hands, because I want to get the ladies, other ladies' questions. So, uh, you name the qualities that men would want in a potential wife. Now, do you have those qualities with, within yourself? Show of hands, if yes. Okay, all right. All the ladies are saying that they have... Vonna, you raise your hand. Okay, all the ladies are saying that they have them qualities. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, y'all all said a few things, right? Generally speaking, um, men, we don't care about a woman's income. So if we're looking for a potential wife, it has everything to do with her morals and how uh, she, nur her nurturing capabilities and her femininity and her submissiveness. And it has nothing to do with her potential to make money and provide and pay bills. Yeah, it's the total opposite. So I know that, you know, our culture is you know, saying that, oh yeah, girl, chase the bag. That's cool. I'm not saying don't chase the bag. Do whatever you got to do to be self-sufficient, but just know that it don't make our dick harder if you're making money. <laughs> uh, if we're making money, it, it makes that vagina a little bit more moist, but it doesn't work the opposite way around. That's who? Uh, um, it <laughs> says men. Every female is not the same. Well, no, I said men. We, if you're making money, it doesn't make our dick harder. But you said if, but it does like, actually they, because no, it I've I've right. encountered guys who literally have had wives commit their lives to being stay at home wives and they've still fucking cheated. That has nothing to do. That with made what their we're dick hard. <laughs> what? When no. they're cheating, their dick gets hard. Like I said, that a <laughs> woman that is working, a career driven woman doesn't makes a man dick hard but it also makes them when they're dealing with a female that doesn't have their own ambition and hustle they also sit there and talk about how miserable they are and try to shit on the bitch because she isn't making an income that's what i'm saying so now we're stuck in that middle where it's like we got people like you that I've are never saying heard of a man i've heard before. a lot and we deal with men so it's not easy like for you to speak upon what we deal with we've dealt with a whole bunch of men so you. it's like so, you so i know a lot even my gay friends are tired of men because well, they dead gay. ass are so that doesn't have nothing to do with it i mean a lot of you a lot of things that you're saying right now doesn't have anything to do with the topic but we can extrapolate this and make a conversation out of it it kind of so, does have well, we can talk with about a, it all. all right so with a little bit of the fact of like you guys are saying that um a guy doesn't get like thing because a woman is getting her own money is this and that but a a guy will also sit there and talk to another bitch about how miserable he is because his bitch isn't helping him with the income. Got you. So I'll explain to you. So you're talking about a type of guy that is if a man is worried about a woman, not her her potential to earn money. 
right? If a man is worried about that, that means that he's inadequate himself in some way and he doesn't have the capability to earn money to the point where he could provide for himself and the woman earn at the enough. same time. Yeah, earn enough money, is right? Is that not so okay, if though, the man for him to not is, be at that point? It's totally fine. Okay. What I'm saying is this. If the man isn't earning enough, right, and the man is, he does, he's not earning enough and the woman isn't working, that's a different story and that's a different, that's, I'm not saying that it still doesn't get the man's, my point is that if a woman is out there work, out there earning money, it doesn't make, it doesn't turn the man on, it doesn't make our dick harder. You was talking about if a man, oh yeah, well the man could be with a woman but the woman is staying at home but he would still cheat on that woman. That's a totally different story. And then you extrapolated it from if the man is working and a woman isn't working, then he would then want his woman to work. That's another situation with the man just doesn't have the potential to earn the money to take care of. But there the are household. also men who see, like, for example, me, like, I just feel like at the end of the day, of course, I want to get to that point where I'm in a, in a position with someone where we could kind of build together. But as of right now, I'm not and I'm fine with just providing for myself and everything and i'm okay with that and i'm happy with it so when i come across guys and stuff they it's not that they're not happy about it they're like to find a woman that's actually like ambitious and like like that as seeking for her yeah, goals so and Shay, stuff you don't they get like my they're point. okay no, with that yeah what but I'm you're saying, saying that, that it doesn't like turn turn them on but yes yeah, it does though saying. it does when a yeah, guy i've encountered so many people so let me give you an example that. if you are uh you know in la lingerie oh yeah you, you walk into the house with lingerie or in uh you walk into the house with a million dollars his dick is gonna get hard for a lingerie. His dick is not getting hard for a million dollars he's gonna be excited that you got a million dollars oh wow a million dollars whoop we moving on up like the Jeffersons, but his dick is not going to get harder. Meaning that you're not more attractive. It's just that you now you got some money. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Say so you're not more attractive. You looking at the sexes like you're looking at it from a female's lens. That's why I said in the beginning of the podcast, all you ladies are no food. All you ladies are fugazi because when a man makes money, when a man is a certain type of man, maybe he's in looks, he's a seven. But if he's out there making money and he's rich or he has a yacht or a Lamborghini, that makes him more attractive. Yeah, but so what you when a female, listen, when a female looks at a man, she looks, she doesn't just looks at his looks. She looks at a multitude of other things. She looks at his ability to provide. So that's with that motivation and ambition to provide her a future. So money does make a woman's vagina wetter, but money doesn't make a man's dick harder if the woman is earning. It doesn't work. Attraction isn't symmetrical. It's asymmetrical. Cool. Go ahead, Vaughn. Vaughn. I'm sorry. How can you say, okay, so you're saying that a woman that makes money doesn't make a man dig hard, but. It doesn't. Why, but, why would you oh, even a think man, that? That's very nonsensical. A man that you, comes with an no. independent what woman. What makes you think that a man that makes money makes a female pussy wet? Because it does. What do you mean? But not so every you, female is the same. Yeah, though. Not That's every man is. Because mind you, let me, let me talk. It's a multi, it's a it's a it's an amplifier, on. right? So All if right, a man is in a certain situation, right? We were just speaking about. She said a guy. She said the guy is working a job, and a woman is staying at home, but he's asking a woman to work too because he doesn't have the capabilities to earn enough money to allow her not to work, right? But if that man then say he's still making that same amount of money, but then he starts to earn more. He's making like, you know, $250,000 a year now. She's going to be much more happier. Her pussy's going to be much more wetter and she's going to enjoy life better because now she doesn't have to worry about working and dealing with the stresses of a job mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's yeah. how it works. But a man on the opposite end, we just don't look at a woman's finances like that. It doesn't turn us on. Right. I you guys don't do that. Every female is the same. And like but we don't, this, and not every guy every male, is the same either. Right, every male yeah. is not the same. Every so what you're not the saying same. that don't turn you on and might turn someone else on. No, for no, me, no. that's why you can't speak for a wide spectrum because right, it's like everything varies. Like for me, for example, you was saying in the beginning, you was telling us to rape people based off their money. That's cool. I get it. You saying, oh, we not supposed to rape people off their money, or we cap and da 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 da. But you are sitting there saying that a guy is a five and he owns a yacht, but there might be a guy that's a ten that owns a yacht. So yeah, why yeah, the fuck am I gonna change? 
change. That defeats the purpose. Are you telling me to change yeah, the you're thing? Still when going it, on a tangent, ladies. Pay it still and doesn't listen. matter. Let me give though. y'all a little bit of game, because one, how, twenty years old, twenty four. You said right. Yeah, I'm and grown. Twenty two, grown, but yeah, still, I'll help you out a little bit. Attraction isn't symmetrical. It's asymmetrical, meaning that what you find attractive in a man, the man doesn't find those same characteristic traits back in you attractive. It's very different. All you ladies want, let's just do a show of hands. Put it on camera four. Do all of you ladies, would you uh, want a man to lead the relationship? Of course. Show of hands. Okay, and actually Toast. throw it around too on all the cameras too for me. You get off camera four now. So all you ladies want a man to lead the relationship. Do you want the man to be more competent than you are? To find competent. Competence is the ability to uh, uh, accomplish things and be successful. More than me? That drive to be successful. Yeah, it's competence is smart. Mm. Mm, you lost me there. Yeah, me too. Do you want your man to be smarter than you? Do you want your man to be smarter than you? Yes or no? Show him. I want he him can to try. be lean. That's 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 that. But okay, as far but as like smarter as <laughs> in what spectrum, now he like, can try. Smarter in what? Yeah. The board, if he can try. More competent. He can try. I do. Okay. Okay. Cool. Shay. What? Do you want what? your man to be more? And Shay, please pay attention. Do you want your man to be more competent than you are? Mm, do you want to be smarter than you? I just want him to have his own hustle. <laughs> I don't care. It's, it's not a race okay, on who's cool. doing it more. So now another That's question. That's what you're trying to make it as. And then, and then all of you ladies answer the question that you do want your man to be taller than you, right? So what I'm saying is that all of you ladies are looking for... That's for, what I was saying. I got to check. If she got kids. Phone, I got kids so. Yeah, yeah, sure. Fine. What I'm saying is that all of you ladies are looking for uh, the man to be, you're looking for your superior, right? You're looking for the man to have certain things that's better than you. You want him to be taller, stronger, more competent, and make more money, right? So you're looking for a provider. You're looking for a provider. So when I'm talking about, oh, in the beginning of the podcast, I'm saying, oh, a man is a four, but he's rich. Would he still stay a four? And y'all saying that, oh, yeah, he would still be a four. That's a lie, because if a dude, everyone knows that Kevin Hart is five foot nothing, five two, I believe, regular guy, but he's rich, right? Before he got married, he was smashing everything. We know that girls don't really be attracted to, it would be ugly dudes that has a yacht, but he's rich on his yacht, and all these young girls want to be on a yacht. Of course, they own it for the experience, but they also find that man more attractive because he owns something. That's what I'm talking about. Because women look for pro provisioning traits. Men, we don't look for that. It's the opposite. You get what I'm saying? We look for feminine and submissive traits. So it's the opposite of what you're looking for. But let's move it right along. Chat, they I'm sorry, really can don't. I ask one question, though. Yeah, yeah, one thing. Chat, they not understanding. I could break it down into a multitude of ways, but I want to get to y'all questions. But yeah, go ahead. I understand what you're saying as far as like the Kevin Hart thing. He also has his own personality as well that plays a role in that. Now, going on to the next thing as far as submission, that should be. Like, that should come out of a woman naturally. You know what I mean? Like, she shouldn't get into a relationship and feel like she has to be <laughs> submissive. Like, as a man, like, if you're doing everything as a man, as your woman, it should come naturally. So, you saying a man looking for a woman that's already submissive, that comes as you show what you are. You know it, what I mean? It doesn't it, matter it plays because both roles, it's just both like the that. same thing. Is it going to come after for a man making money? I could flip the card and play the, play the, say the same thing that you just okay, said. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but you're also what I'm saying is that men. men, we just want a feminine, submissive woman to follow our lead, just like you want a masculine man to lead you. Okay. It's the total opposite, yeah. But I get what you're saying. What you got, Shay? You're talking about a lot of like men that like really don't like we. So so once we again, we haven't you're speaking encountered about your own, yet. I got you. You're speaking about your and own. And you're speaking about view. your own like things that you may say because you might be a man, but be right. realistically speaking, the people that are dealing with men because we're the one dealing with them are telling you like there's not a lot of like at the end of the day, a lot of these fucking men have mom issues they have traumas they're not leading they're not doing this they're not doing that they're lacking in every aspect okay. like so shay you know why those are the, they suck no but, but that's those, what we're dealing but with shay, guess what shitty ass you're dealing with half, that 
as God men. Shay, you're dealing with that because those are the men that you can attract. You don't have the ability to attract the high value men that can That's provide and true. protect. Be that is real. correct. But because I carry because, every trait as one to might why get a time, I should. One might get a time. If you had the ability to attract the high value men that can provide you things, you wouldn't even be dealing with those bum broke dudes. Right. So the fact is that you can't attract those high value men because you're no, very masculine. No, because sometimes no, they still want you to settle woman. for things they, that you don't have to. Don't want you. Guys don't like girls that have their own on independence because they're mad because we will be able to walk away and not need them. They're those wanted the, but not needed. And that's what guys hate. Dudes. That they're not wanted nowadays but I mean that they're ne that they're not needed nowadays but they're wanted. That's what guys don't yeah, yeah, like. Shay, Shay, we don't need guys. We I'm want not talking it. about none of that. But that's All what you're, no, you're but when it comes no, to no, a no, guy no. encountering Yes, it is. One mic at a time. I'll let you speak in a second. Listen to understand not listen to respond because I'm giving you game right now, right? It can help you out. You just explained your experience. You said, wait, 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 Cooley. You talking about all these other dudes that... I know the type of dudes you talking about, but those aren't the type of dudes that Vana, we encounter. Is that your experience? Those aren't the type of dudes that we encounter. Like guys we, that they're hey, I'm not speaking, type of dudes Shay, that Shay, you experience. I'm speaking, I'm speaking. Please, one mic at a time. And I'll let you speak. I'll let you get out. But please understand. Look, I'm speaking and you're not even listening. That's very masculine. You speaking over me. That's why you can attract those dudes that can protect and provide for you because you are a masculine woman. You can't sit here on a podcast, be quiet and listen. That's why she said, I asked her, well, uh, she asked me, well, yeah, I would like to be more feminine. I said, well, do you see that any of these girls on the podcast where you can adopt their feminine traits? She said, no, because you ladies are masculine. You're no, not listening. She couldn't even explain why. She just said no, that we no, never no. even got to I'm talk gonna to you, more. Right? I'm going to get to you. Okay. Listen to understand not to respond. I'm going to say it again one more time. You're saying, <laughs> no, please listen. If you don't want to listen, you can lead a podcast. Totally fine. You're saying that. <laughs> Uh, there are men out there, and I agree, there are men out there that are bums, they're broke, they're liars, they're cheaters, there's those type of men, and you're saying that you're only coolie, you're speaking about like whatever guys, you know, that you're speaking about, but those aren't the men that we deal with. That's what you said. Now, I'm saying that the reason why you deal with those men is because you have the inability to attract the men that have things going for them in life. A man that's assertive, dominant, and masculine that can provide you a future. You get what I'm saying? That's not a broken a bum. So if you had the ability to attract those men, your experiences in life and in dating would be different. But the facts is that you're, mas you're a masculine woman. You're 24 and you're super masculine talking over me, very disrespectful and doing things, but I'm still keeping you on the podcast. And you don't have, that's the reason why you don't have the ability to attract men like that. We don't date girls like that. <laughs> it's just the facts. My shorty is super feminine. She at home right now with my, with my two kids chilling. You get what I'm saying? And I'm on a podcast late night. When I get home, food be cooked for me. When it's late, whenever I want it, she chilling. You get what I'm saying? So you on a podcast speaking over another man that gave you the opportunity on a podcast, but you happen to be talking about these broke niggas. Cool, we know it's broke niggas. We know it's broke females. We know it's whores. We know it's men out here that's smashing and cheating. But if you want a man that can lead you and a man that you genuinely love, respect, and admire... That means that you have to work on yourself is what I'm saying. You have to be the woman to attract those high value men. I'm saying that you're not that woman to attract those high value men. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can I talk? Yes. Okay. So you're saying that I'm not the woman to attract them high value men. It's crazy because I have. Where but are they also, now? No, at the no, same no, time, time. Wait, no, so you said, no, no, wait I let you talk, but okay, you're cool, not cool. letting me talk. Cool, cool, cool. But you said something. Where are Jesus those high Christ. value men now? Answer the question. Where are those in high value men? In my DMs, just sitting there. They're in your DMs, just sitting there. Because I don't there. need them. Yeah, because they only want to smash. They're not trying to wife you up. No, that's not the case. They only want to smash. You don't. You don't get any relationship value from a man Ooh. like that. They you saying that you have them. You don't have them. You got sexual value from them. You got sexual it's value from. It's because I don't have dudes to. High value I don't dudes. sit there and put up with people. Like first of all, I'm not being no yes man to no man. Okay. Oh, facts. So guess what? The high value dudes ain't gonna take your masculine. Self. No, it is because there's gonna be people that respect that you. There's a like a fucking limit to the shit. I'm not about to sit here and just be like kissing a, a man's a, ass and letting him just treat me like I'm his like fucking dog or we're peasant. We're not speaking about a man not treating you right. I'm speaking okay, about a man. Okay, Vanna, you have right. you dealt with good men? This is all I wanted to say. Same shit with you. Can ask any girl. They go dealt ahead, with Vanna, the same speak. thing. You could go. So what is feminine like? 
feminine energy to you? Like, define that. Because it's like, is it just like me just yes sir yes sir all the time not talking back is that what you want from no 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 one's saying that all human beings god granted us with free will which means that we all have agency we have responsibility and we have authority to a degree and in, in a relationship and things like that right so we're not saying that a woman can't just you know has to be yeah oh yes yes saya yes master I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about be a good woman. Be a feminine, nurturing woman to your man. Be the opposite of what he is. Men aren't looking for their same. I'm a man. I'm masculine, assertive, and I'm dominant. Extremely. I don't want a woman that's like me. I want a soft, feminine, docile woman. But... But they like, don't even let us it, it really depends on what person. Like, that's be, and, and what you talking about? Just because you can't attract them. That's why they don't... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Girl, Those are the it, facts. It really depends when you're from too, though, because it's like, at the end of the day, you're going to defend yourself. Like, you feel me? You're going to defend yourself. Yeah. At the and, end of the and day. And I'll bring it into perspective, right, so you ladies can understand. So, imagine, right? And this could be, maybe this would make sense to the ladies on the podcast. <laughs> imagine if I was at home. I, I lived at home with my mom, right? Let's go into uh, an imaginary world real quick. I live at home with my mom. I got no job, no job. I'm 34 years old, no job. And um, I prioritize playing video games. I was super excited when Grand Theft Auto um, six. 6 was about to drop. I'm like, oh, Grand Theft Auto 6. Games like, I'm over there, fire. like, you games know, fire. super excited about that. That's I mean, fire. which a lot of niggas is. I feel you. <laughs> but I'm prioritizing video games and eating cereal all day. And I have no ambitions to have a good future for myself. Uh, but... I'm saying that I deserve a bad chick. I deserve a girl that's a 10. Do you ladies think that I would even, one, do you ladies think that I would have the capabilities to attract the girl if I'm at home eating cereal and have no ambitions? No. No, no y'all wouldn't think that, right? So on the flip side, I'm saying that a woman that's loud, rambunctious, masculine, can't follow a man's lead, um, very assertive and dominant, well, men, we don't look for that. Does so she, she doesn't have the ability, that woman that has those traits, she wouldn't have the ability to, to attract and lock and retain mm -hmm. a high value man, a masculine man. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying anything crazy here. I'm literally mm -hmm. speaking what's true. Right. So is she that? Everything you named, is she like all the... No, for, I already spoke about what I thought about her. She's totally fine. She's shy. You know what I mean? She's chilling right now. But so as just, far as mm -hmm. the traits that she was from the question that she asked and the traits that she displayed this for on a podcast, I said that she doesn't have the ability to attract and retain a high value man. Clear, and that is the just the men fact. men just aren't many. That's what it is. Because a, a <laughs> okay. woman naturally submits. And then on top of that, I carry all the fucking qualities and traits that like a guy could really ask for. So okay. if a guy or a man were to sit there and do what he's supposed to do, of course a female is going to submit. I think anybody in this fucking room would. So, but if um like a guy is just sitting there doing whatever, of course that's why a lot of females don't submit. You guys want so people to submit to shit that we not so have you, to submit to. So have you attracted a guy that I've attracted does all, all types? No, no, no. no. So it's it's shit. Uh, ease. Don't even speak about attract. We know that Drake be in girls that's a six DMs mm -hmm. and fly him out the hit. We know yeah. this already. About we know that Trey Songz <laughs> and these niggas will hop in a regular type of girl, fly him out and smash. So it's not about attract. I'm talking about retain them. Get a relationship. Right. Women hold the key to sex. Men hold the key to relationships. So the facts is we, we don't even need to ask them this question. They're not, besides her, she's the only one that got a man. Ayla over here chilling. She's been the most feminine one thus far. But uh, the fact is that these women aren't in a relationship with a high value man, with a man of substance, with a man that can fi provide them a future and give them, a allow them uh, not to work. You feel what I'm saying? They can't retain those type of men. They can't get a relationship from those type of men because if they had the ability to, they will be in a relationship. I have. Who, and I chose not anyone's to. Anyone's looking for a yes relationship man. right now. That's my thing. I'm single because I choose to be single right now. Like you stated, we're young. 
I'm young, right? So I don't need a man right now. I'm working on myself on to to focus you. on my career, on my future, to Are better you? myself. So I'm not. I don't need let a man right now. I don't. You know what I mean? So you saying, oh, you're single because you can't get a man? Yeah. Let me ask to, you a question. You can't retain one. Is there ridiculous? I got. You. Let me ask you a question. Are you a virgin? Am I a virgin? Yeah. I have two kids. Am I a got virgin? Got you. So you got two kids. So that means that you've already been having sex. And now you're saying that at 22 years old, you're not looking for a man and you don't want a man. Okay, that's fine. I'm not and saying, I'm saying I do not, not saying need that, one right now. And, and, and you're saying that you do not need a man right now. Right. My point is that the reason why you don't, you're the reason why you're saying that you don't need a man right now is because of your inability to no. attract and retain a man of value right now. Because you, if you were attracting no, and retaining I'm any dudes, I'm focusing on my career and bettering myself because okay. I'm in a position right now where I want to focus on me, okay. and not focus Great. on a relationship. So are you and celibate? Focus on better on my kids are you and celibate? not focusing on a relationship. Got it. So are you celibate? That doesn't okay, matter. Okay, cool. You're not celibate. So that means that you got some random nigga that has no potential of giving you any random? ring that's smashing. Random? You are putting words into my that's mouth. That's what which it is. is. Crazy. What I'm saying is that you, you're you saying I'm all these saying things. I don't need a career. relationship right now. Got that's it. it. Okay, now let's extrapolate this and let's make it make Your sense. Your point is also making it seem like a man is needed in got this you, world, you. and that's well, crazy. Well, we'll talk about that too. Actually, men need remember, women. remember that, actually. Remember women that. Need men. So, what I'm saying is this. You're talking no, about not really ladies. One mic at a time. I'm speaking. You're saying, Jay, yeah, that you are focused on your career. Cool. Am I and right? Bettering myself and bettering yourself. Right. Okay. Cool. Then you said that you're not a virgin. You have kids. Totally fine. You're not a virgin. You have kids. Okay. Boom. Now you're saying that I asked you, are you celibate? Okay, well, you're not celibate. You didn't answer the question. So that means that you are currently having casually sex with someone, right? And he, he's hitting it. So that means that you granted him your key, because women hold the key to sex. You granted him your key of sex, right? Okay, cool. He didn't grant you his key of a relationship, but even if he did, you probably wouldn't accept it because he's a low-tier dude. That's my point. Because if he was a high-tier dude, you would be the one begging for a relationship. You're saying That's this what I'm off saying. of something so, no, I didn't this, answer for you. You don't have to answer it. These are the facts. You're saying this off of an answer I didn't Every answer woman, for you. Listen, so you're saying this girl, off of assumption. Baby girl, listen. You don't hold the key to relationships. Men grant relationships. So the I'm reason just, why you don't have a relationship is for two reasons. I because you're not attracted that. to the man uh, enough or he's not attracted to you enough to grant you that relationship. That's what I'm saying. Just okay, like a man. A, Say if I'm an yeah. incel, I don't have the ability to have sex, right? I'm an incel. I'm involuntary celibate, right? That means that girls don't want to have sex with me. I want to have sex with them, but they don't want to have sex with me. And I'm just saying like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not having sex because, you know, it's by choice. No, it isn't by choice. It's, an, it's a man's natural proclivity to have sex. It's a woman's natural proclivity to want a quality man. So what I'm saying is that you're not getting your natural proclivity and you're trying to you're trying to cope with it and say, oh, yeah, I don't want it. It's a coping mechanism. This podcast is called No Fugazi for a reason. And uh, we don't tolerate that no fugaziness. We don't tolerate that fugaziness. You get what I'm saying? We keep it very no fugazi. So you have some? <laughs> Me. Wait, when yeah, are we I thought you had something. Yeah, no, I think so. When are we gonna okay, see cool. the video? Um, let's get to the uh actually, ladies, last promise. Do y'all have any questions on the podcast? No questions? We're gonna get into the super chats thing because we got a lot of them following up. Some of them are just comments, not all questions. Who's calling the phone? Whose phone is that? Uh mm -hmm. there's no phone ringing. I hear yeah, there is. Of course, it's my phone. Oh, Vana. Okay, cool. So uh, we got, um, let's see here. Brother Jen sends in $20. He says, Cooley, can you explain to the ladies that cheating for a woman and cheating for a man is two very different things? Oh, like for no. a woman, her sexuality is her main agency. And for a man, sex isn't his main agency. Um, <laughs> Brother Jen, I'm sure we'll touch on that topic when it gets there and uh yeah i'll definitely explain it to him but yeah that is facts a woman's main agency meaning that what a man finds attractive and valuable to the woman is her sexuality um that's why only fans sells out and because men purchase only fans porn hub and all these porn sites are the biggest websites because men purchase that so those are the main agencies 
uh, of a woman is is her sexuality. Um, but as, of course, if you're in a relationship, there's other main agencies like nurturing, submissiveness, and the caring aspects you could bring to a man. Um, and a man's main agency is his ability to provide. It doesn't have to do his his sex. His main agency is not tied to sex. Uh, next super chat we got Bad Bassett twenty dollars. Hey, you back, bro? Appreciate you, man. Uh, he says it's a timer on that Shea bomb. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, she's chilling right now. Um, I know y'all was saying y'all was asking me to kick her out, but I'm not gonna kick no girl out as long as she doesn't, crazy. you know, go off the top. I'm not gonna kick no chick out. If they stop answering questions, then it's no point for you to be here. I'll kick them out. But uh, yeah, man, I'm not gonna kick out any girls uh, un unless they are truly, fully disrespectful to me. Right. I'll give them a warning. And if they keep going, they get now or if they have the inability to answer a question. Thanks for your uh, super chat, though, bro. Mm. D. Corey, he sends in ten dollars. If your ideal man <laughs> is able to retire you today. OK, here's a question, ladies. So if your ideal man is able to retire you today, would you accept and know you can't start your dream business? Just live comfortably, have a family and care for uh, your husband and your children. Salute to F, uh, No Fugazi Podcast. Appreciate you, bro. Enough. Ladies, so uh, yeah, let's start with, actually, let's start with Ayla. Hell Ayla. yeah. Okay, so you would, and you would even, you would give up your career. You'd be like, yeah. forget that. Because I, honestly, my biggest goal in life is to be a good mom. So I want to take care of my kids. We could do so much together. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Ayla, I think you're growing a little bit. From the last yeah. two podcasts, yeah. she was independent. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I'm still independent, no but the point of me being independent is for my kids. Once you have kids, it's all about them. You know okay. I mean? yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And what about you? Uh, so like, I want to say yes. I want to say yes so bad. But I have so many goals and dreams in my life that I, I just, I can't. I like, I, I would have to still have a business. Okay, so you have to still have a business. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Like I want to say, like I, I'm you like, wanna say I want to yes, say yes. You want to have a business? Do but you I have a business now? I do. Oh, okay. So you want to maintain your business and grow it? Okay. I want to do right. international work. All right, cool. And ladies, um, when she was speaking, if y'all having side convos, the mic picked that up. Please be oh, respectful sorry. to the guests. Um, and what about you, Jay? Um, you said. Oh yeah. So if your ideal man wanted to retire you today, would you accept it? And I can't, you can't have, work on my passion. I can't do he, nothing like he that. He wants you to focus. You can't do anything else. He wants you to focus on being a nurturing mother and a good wife to him. It's a yes or no because I also am a human being and I have a passion and I love what I do. And to think about giving that up for the rest of my life for some guy because mm -hmm. he's paying my bills or, or making sure we're good at home. I don't, I can't, I can't Let fully answer that Let me ask you another right question, right? So if um, a package was to deliver to your house, right, and it was a briefcase, it says that uh, you could, um, if you accept this briefcase, it has a hundred million dollars in this briefcase. If you accept this money with this briefcase, you're retired. You don't have to work anymore. You could just, you don't have to create any businesses. You live a lavish life. Give up all the things that you're doing and take this a hundred million, right? Would you accept that 100 million or would you be like, forget that hundred million because I want to braid hair? No, that's a hundred million. A okay. hundred million is a hundred million. Hey, chat. <laughs> hey, look, we just exposed her. Look, no, it's not exposed. That is exposed you didn't you. say the guy came with a hundred no, million. Listen, you said that, you're living comfortably okay, cool, cool, being cool, a cool, housewife cool. and that is exposing that. it. It exposed you clear right then and there. That you means that you're, you're looking at the man in a very disdain way. You, you would accept no. a random briefcase that doesn't have a soul. You just said that you would accept a random briefcase that... I that could do what listen, I listen, want. let me could, finish. Could, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> you just said that you would accept a random... You just explained that you would accept a random briefcase uh, that doesn't have a soul or a consciousness, right? But you would decline the, that same uh, opportunity where that a man would gonna that's gonna give you that loves you, cares about you, that has a soul, that has a consciousness, you and you don't have to work. 
You did not say all of that. That you is. You just said that a man would make you live comfortably. You didn't say. No, 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 no. He, listen, he, listen, he listen, listen. Housewife. No, no, no. Listen, listen. That's what you no, said. No, no. Wrong, 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 wrong. That isn't. That is. That is what you said. So ag- elaborate more. Like you know, it, go I'll, into more I'll detail. I'll read then. the question just again. Like you did with the briefcase. No, no. I'll read the question again. Okay. If your ideal man was able to retire you today, retire you, you don't have to worry about working at all. Life is paid for. Life is good. Would you accept? You said you wouldn't accept because you said it's no, 50-50. No, no, I said it's hard because I love what I do. I, that, that makes me happy. Say, but listen to what I'm saying. Listen to understand, I listen to respond. Okay. What I'm saying, the expo- why I said that you expose your own mindset is because of this. You just said that you wouldn't accept the man that can retire you, meaning that he has a lot of money I to retire you choice. and you don't have to work. Just the fact that you said that it'd be a hard choice, meaning that you're contemplating on it. But you didn't contemplate on the fact that if a random briefcase without a soul that doesn't love you came with a hundred million dollars. But the caveat is you can't work anymore, meaning that you can't follow your passions. You said you didn't have to contemplate. You said, yes, I would accept that. That's a hundred million dollars. But you wouldn't accept the man that will retire you. So what I'm saying is that your mental mind frame is all messed up, meaning that you don't look at men as anything. It's, it's maybe, maybe it's more that it's hard to trust. I think that plays oh, a role. Oh, okay, okay. That plays a role. Let's, let, we can get into, that's something. a whole different conversation. Like, it's hard to put your trust into people in general. Let's take gender out of it. Okay. I can't. It's hard for me to trust people. So Got for it. you to sit there and say, oh, because somebody is going to do this for you, doesn't mean it's going to be n- not going to be held throughout that time. But it's a guarantee. With, I get with what... things getting thrown in your face, with things, like, getting taken from you, with things just... just in in total, it's hard to trust okay. people. So guess what, right, baby girl? That trust, the reason why you don't have the ability, you, you wouldn't accept the briefcase. And like I said, it's because that you're not looking at men righteously. You're looking at men as things that a, a person that you can't trust, a human being that you can't trust. So that comes with uh, trauma, me- meaning that maybe you experienced men that was that you couldn't trust men that was distrustful men that was unloyal to you you know what i mean so you've experienced these things in a man and it molded your mindset to now so that's why you choose in the briefcase instead of choosing a valuable man so that has to that's not on the man that's on you that means that the things the traumas that you went through in your past you have to overcome those traumas so you when you do meet a man that can retire you you trust that man because a briefcase, baby girl, ain't never going to come. But a man that can retire you, you you can. That could come. That's a possibility. Yes, but a briefcase can come from me, from myself. But I see what you're saying. I 100% okay, see what cool. you're saying because of past traumas. Like I said, it's not about a man. It's about not being able to trust people in general. So I, could, I, I can understand what you say. I see your viewpoint, but I also have mine as well. So that's just that. But yeah, yeah. I get it. I okay. get it. Okay. She understands. Chat. She conceded. She understands. Fair enough. As long as, you know, you, you see, uh, you look in the mirror and understand why you wouldn't accept it. Because that's what I'm, that's what I wanted to expose, right? Was really for you to look in the mirror. Like, wait, wait, what's going on? Why aren't you looking at men as being righteous? Okay. Something must have happened in your past. Who hurt you? You know that phrase, who hurt you? That's why they say that, because it's like, well, what's going on, baby girl? Why why aren't you accepting this? Who hurt you? But um, anyways, Dane, where is Cisco? I Jay think always... in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, anyways, we're going to move the podcast along, and I'm going to give her a warning. Next time they get up, like, uh, you can't be going to the bathroom that much. Could you check on them real quick? Thank you. Um. Let's get on to some more Super Chats. And Jay and Sarah and Ayla, thank y'all for not getting up. I don't think y'all went to the bathroom once. Maybe. But I've been pretty much in y'all seats. Um, AI uh, Larch sends in $10. He said, Sarah has potential because her attitude and willing to work on herself. Aww, hey, look at that. Thank you. I appreciate it's that. You got potential. That's what's up. Okay. Uh, is Shay a throat goat? <laughs> uh, that came from Tom, uh, uh, Thomason. Thompson. Yeah, Thompson. 
Thompson. He sends him five dollars. <laughs> is Shay a throat goat? Uh, is that what it, what I think it means? Yeah, I mean that. Okay. Um, do you want to? That's your sis. You want to answer that? I can't answer for her. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dang. That's Listen, not my uh, business to be sitting there. When she comes back, I'll I'll ask her. Uh, <laughs> she about to blow that's ridiculous. Uh, I, I, well, it ain't on me. That's what the that's what he sent. He sent him five dollars. He want to know. Probably know her. <laughs> DJ Lion. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? DJ Lion. He sends in and uh, yeah. while y'all while I'm reading the chat, just try to keep it down a little bit. Okay. Um, DJ Lion sends in seven dollars. He says, "If you had the chance to make one million a year, would you open a OnlyFans account? Yes or no, and why?" Ooh. That's like a good making a million dollars as an OnlyFans? Yeah, let's or, see this. So sorry. DJ Lyon says, if you had the chance to make one million a year, would you open a OnlyFans account? Yes or no? Yeah, I'm thinking if you had the chance to make one million a year on OnlyFans. Let's start with um, uh, Jay. I'm a very private person. So I, me personally, like myself, the way I carry myself, I just couldn't do something like that. I don't judge people Word. who do. But that's just, that's my answer. No, I couldn't do that. Fair enough. Well, and actually you do, that will actually be judging something because if you aren't tolerating it within yourself, um, that means that, uh, let me, let me rephrase it. It's none of my business. I'm none of your do. business. Okay. That's, that's, but we all know we, uh, we judge them Jones. That's on OnlyFans. It's okay to judge. I, I mean, we judge everything. We judge the restaurants we go to. We judge, you judge men all the time. We judge women all the time. So like, if you get a, a five foot two guy that approaches you or a six foot four guy that approaches you, you're going to judge like, okay, this one is taller. This one is a little more charming. So judging is a good thing. Judging, discernment, right? So uh, discernment means has, uh, that's the ability to make good judgment. So God wants us to have discernment, which he wants us to make good judgment. So you saying that you wouldn't, Take the uh, one million dollars and create an OnlyFans. Guess that's what? Me. That's good judgment. Yeah. Yeah, that's good me. judgment. Yeah. Um, what about you, Sarah? I would not. Actually, Alien and I earlier we talked about this a little bit, and I think I just have too much respect for myself, and I yeah. wouldn't do it. And Sarah, you know, I know I can make a lot your... of money on OnlyFans. Can you move a little bit more over this way, actually? Sure. Yeah, just to get you on the camera more. Uh, just a little bit. You just got scooch like an inch. Yeah. That better. Uh. I thought you wanted to stand next to me or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so now you're more in the screen. I wanted to put you in a screen. So you said no, right? Correct. Okay, no. and um, what about you? No. No. Yeah, uh, chat, they not with it. The other two girls, yo. Uh, I, I can't answer for I don't know. No, you not answer for them, but what's what's going on with them? I have no idea. Hey, we may have had some runners on a podcast, but her sister is still here. So she may have ran off and the other girl ran off too. Who knows? But uh, if they're gone, they're gone. Um, but sis is vibing. So fair enough. Um, D. Corey sends him $5. He says, ladies, your son is 30 and has to work abroad. He's working overseas. Uh, would you prefer him to seriously date a woman with no kids? Versus a woman with three kids by two baby daddies. Mm. Ooh. Let's start with Ayla. Um, I think it depends on the baby fathers and I guess the situation with um, your uh -huh. wait with his girlfriend, right? That's what he has a girlfriend with two baby fathers. So 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 it's uh. A or B? So uh, your son works abroad. He's 30 years old. Would you want him to date a girl that has no kids? Or would you want him to date a girl that has uh, three kids and two baby daddies? Oh, no kids. No kids. Okay, cool. Wait, and, can you repeat that? Yep. So your son, it's an imaginary world. You have a son. He's 30 years old now. And uh, he has two choices. Girl A has no kids, but girl B she has three kids and two baby daddies. Would you want your son to date? Which one would you want your son to date? Mm. I'll say girl A. Girl A? Okay. Girl A. So the girl without any kids. And what about you, uh, Sarah? Keep it clean. No kids. Keep it clean. No kids. You got kids, Sarah? I do not. Not you yet. Do not. Okay. Where are you? 35? 
35. Ooh, them eggs feeling a rot. You better get I'm them going. I'm going to get them frozen. <laughs> you don't get them things frozen? That costs a lot of money. Not really. I found a company that does it for three grand. Three grand? Okay. Fair enough. You're going to get them things frozen. You still know it's a lot of complications with that, and it's always not guaranteed. I know, but I got to find the right man first, and I'm not in a rush. Not I can't in a... just I can't rush that process. Oh, well, you're 35. I would say if you really want kids, a dog. it's a rush. <laughs> Um, of course, every yeah, but I'm not gonna adopt. rush a man into that. Yeah, well, you know, it's even not if, about if rushing, I meet a man finding. today, yeah, I still want to wait a couple of years before I have kids. I don't want to just be like, oh, I'm 35, let's go. Okay, like let's well, have fun first. Let's build a relationship first. Well, let's build a founda have foundation. Have a biological clock on giving birth. I so agree. What I'm saying is. Uh, you're 35, so literally it's high risk pregnancy, and you already lost 80 percent of your eggs. Oh, I'm aware. So, okay, yeah. So you did the research on it. So you're already looking into, you know, freezing your eggs. That's totally fine. Mm -hmm. But then there's complications even with, you know, the the insertion mm -hmm. process and going throughout it. Um, I could always get a surrogate. I could always adopt. I could always foster. There's there's plenty okay. of options. Well, you're looking to take the scientific ways. Fair enough. Um. But yeah, cool. Uh, let's see. But you said that you want the son to date the girl with no, no kids. kids. Jay, what about you? Yeah, I would say no kids. Keep no kids? Happy. Okay. And is Shay coming back? If not, then we're going to adjust the mics. You know if she's coming back or no? I don't, I don't, think, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, chat, we lost one. Dan, you called it. <laughs> Dan called it. Dan called it. Yeah, called it. <laughs> Dan called it. We got one. Uh, Shay ran off on the plug. But her sister's here and her friend is here. So uh, they rock. And I guess they are enjoying the podcast to a small degree or maybe a large degree. But um, cool. Uh, I am going to adjust your mic a little bit. Um, can you turn off mic uh, six? Turn the volume down. Six. Got you, bro. And then I'm gonna have you sit over here. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. What time is it? It is 11:40. Oh, got you. We gonna wrap it's up. It's late. Time. That's it. I it was um. Late. Yeah, I thought it was later. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay. So. Uh. Actually, I turned that mic off. Um, chat, uh, E, speak in your mic, see if they, well, actually, they can hear you. Um, Jay, speak in your mic, see if they can hear you. Hello. Got you. And speak in your mic, Ayla. Hello. Speak in your mic, uh. Yeah. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Uh, chat, put a one in the, uh, chat if y'all can still hear all the mics. I just want to make sure I turned off the right one. Put a two in the chat if you couldn't hear everyone I just spoke. Um, let's see real quick. Hold up. Hold up, let's see. One, okay, everything is Gucci. All right, so let's get to these super chats and then we're gonna get into some more questions. So uh, next super chat, we got, damn man, y'all supporting, yo. Appreciate the support, y'all tuning in. We got almost 500 people in here right now. Um, Jeremy Small sends in $5. Appreciate your support, man. Uh, Jeremy Small sends in another $5. He says, Shay, uh, do you have a relationship with your father? Um, she's not here any longer, so she can't answer that question, but her sister is. Yeah, we do. We have a very good relationship with our dad. Okay, cool, cool. And I see why he probably asked that. But anyway, she's not here to defend herself, so we're not going to talk about Shay. That would be very uh, rude to speak about her. But y'all could say whatever y'all want about her, but I won't. I won't give a comment. Um Zayn7 sends him $5. He says, if you want a man to lead, why would you not want him to be smarter? True. Because y'all all ladies said that. Do you want a man to be more competent? And y'all was like kind of hesitant about it. If you want him to lead, then you do want that man to be smarter than you. So that was like a almost like a trick question. Um, you want a man who is beneath you uh, intelligently to lead you? Yeah, that doesn't really make any sense. He says that's an oxymoron. Yeah, what you got, Sarah? Earlier when you asked that question, I said you can try because I have a lot of... I am pretty 
intelligent. And so it would take a lot for me to find a man that is smarter than me. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Sarah's saying that she's smarter, but it would take a lot. Uh, she is smart, so it would So, like, would for take instance, I have a master's, I have a PhD, yeah. so, and I'm a business owner. So, like, it takes a lot for me to find a man that's going to be smarter than me. That's going to be... I got you. Then I, then it's like, I'm picking what's, out wait, of... What's your business? What business do you own? I own a counseling practice. A counseling practice? Oh, so mm -hmm. you counsel. Well, I'm closing that one out and I'm starting up a new one. Starting up a new one. Okay, yeah. got you. So, yeah, I mean, um, as far as intelligence, uh, it does take a, 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 a degree of intelligence to have a master's degree. So, yes, because you need to be disciplined uh, to, you know, go through the you know courses of school um but intelligence and education is different sure absolutely yeah, yeah. but yeah so you you understand that um fair enough uh let's see here next super chat we got uh daryl b sends in ten dollars uh most of these girls can't retain the facts you're saying let alone retain a man uh, I get what you're saying, man. Appreciate your support. <laughs> Samuels S. sends in $10. He says, Cooley, great work with the pod. Question for the ladies. Uh, do you know any high value men? And have you ever been approached by one? If not, why? Let's start with Ayla. You know any high value men and have you ever been approached by any? Uh, Set up a little bit, Ayla. So the camera see you. Yeah. Um, Right now, I'm not sure. I feel like I don't know. So, uh, I'm going to say no. Okay, no. I'm going to say no. Fair enough. And what about you, Vanna? Mm. Define high value, though. Oh, what would you perceive a man to be high value? I feel like I do. I know a high value man. Okay, now the question is you do know a high value man. Now has a high value have you ever been approached by one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um and Sarah, do you know any high value men and have you ever been approached by I know a few. Have I been approached by one? No. Got you. I'm usually the one that does the approaching. And why haven't you been approached by a high value man? It's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. Don't know the answer. Okay. Uh, well, we can get into that a little bit. <laughs> uh, Jay, what about yourself? You know any high value men and have you ever been approached by any? I'm going to say yes to both of those. And you have been approached by them. Okay, fair enough. Tony Barnett sends in $20. He says, I am a 57-year-old man who is married 29 years, uh, who is married 29 years old with adult children. Um, who are older than most of the panel. I ask questions to get each of you to self-reflect and hopefully change some things about yourselves, if necessary. Um, thanks for the chat. Uh, super chat, Tony. Yeah, I truly understand that. Tony is a supporter of ours, and he's been supporting the channel for a while now. I definitely understand, man, your questions. Uh, the ladies just don't fully understand you know the purpose of your questions but uh keep supporting bro uh we, you know different episodes when you send the super chats they understand some episodes they don't understand it's just it's to how it is <laughs> uh who we got next we got william ray sends in 20 dollars. he says to the girl who is single by choice talking about you jay if your dream man came to you today this man checked all your boxes and he offered a relationship to you. Would you accept or let him know that you're extremely rare? It's hard to get to answer that question without getting to fully know a person because they could check all the boxes, but have some loose screws like, like, so this, so down the, down what, the low. what William Ray is saying, he's saying that this guy got no loose screws. Okay, it's so it's your ideal man. Together. He's all put together. He checks off all your boxes. And now his question is, uh, he, he once he offers you a relationship, would you accept that relationship 
Or would you let him know that you're extremely rare? Because you said that before. That I'm rare? <laughs> I never said I'm rare. I think you said that. No, I never said I'm rare. I said I'm okay. working on my career. Working I on your career. I said that I'm working on myself to be better. So if that man is going to help me and build me and we're going to build together and we're going to push each other and I'm going to grow in that relationship, uh -huh. then yeah, I would have no problem settling down. But right now, I don't come across... If you under... You've been my age before. For right? sure, yeah. But your man's mindset life is wasn't, different. No, but I'm saying your your mindset wasn't the same. It was... I don't know how old you are. I'm sorry. Respectfully, I don't know how old I'm you 34. are. I'm 34. No, yeah, my okay, mindset so, wasn't. Okay, so 12 yeah. years ago, your mindset was nowhere near what it was to today. Correct. Correct? Yep. So it's hard for me, as being my age, to find men, I guess you would uh -huh. explain, in my category, like in my age category, that is going to do everything that I need yeah. for me to grow and stuff as well. So Got you. So let me give you a perspective, because I know you're speaking off of your perception, which is limited because you're only 22 years old, right? Which is okay. Um, so a perspective on everything we've been talking about this podcast thus far, and the reason why I'm challenging you ladies on maybe your answers or the things that you're saying is because I'm literally trying to give you the blueprint so you don't have to make bad decisions in choosing men. So I know you ladies was like, oh yeah, men are this, they broke this. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, we know those broke dudes, right? But guess what? There are dudes that have their life together. And we know that you do want those dudes. So you don't have the ability to attract those dudes right now. But you can have the ability to attract those dudes if, and only <laughs> if, you work on yourself. But you work on yourself in regards to the things that men are attracted to, not to the things that you just want to conjure up in your mind, right? So for an example, I said, say if I just want to be a, a at home living in my mom's basement, eating cereal all day, y'all all said that I don't deserve a bad chick, right? You want to be a career driven woman and do what you want to do. But guess what? Men don't care about that and we're not attracted to it. So it's like, well, then you don't deserve a high value man. Right. Because you're not going to have you're not going to have the ability to attract them because you're worried about your career and high value men. It's like, yeah, it's cool that you are working, but we don't really care about it. It doesn't get our dick harder. OK, but let me let me say something to that. So I am career driven, uh -huh. motivated, goal oriented, but I'm also I know how to cook. I know I, I keep my house well kept, you know, like I know how to yeah. take care of myself and my children and stuff. So it's a it's it's a whole package. It's not just, oh, oh, she knows how to get money, you know, so that's yeah. where you're getting at. Oh, you can't retain a guy because all you do is want all you want to do is work is false. No, no, I'm not saying that you can't retain a guy. I know that you could get a guy. You got a bunch of them in your DMs and, you know, they'll grant your relationship out of thin air. I know that. I'm you sorry, can. a man. I'm sorry. Well, is, no, that, is that well, what you, no, you want to get No, I'm talking specific? about there are levels of men and there yes. are levels of women. There are what what men don't value in women are 304s. We don't we won't want to wife a whore. We'll smash a whore, but we, we don't want to wife her. What women don't want men don't women don't want no broke dude. Ah, yeah, I don't want no broke dude. But the type of dudes that you do value is those guys that have ambition. They're assertive. They're masculine. They're dominant. They can provide you a future. So I'm saying that those type of men, they have preferences, right? And one of their preferences is that if I'm already that dude and life is good, you just have to acquiesce your behaviors and come in, come in my life and follow my lead. This career stuff you're talking about, yeah, that's cool, honey. But if we're going to start a family, nah, I need you home raising them kids. If you don't want to do that, then guess what? You're just not going to get granted the relationship. But then the other part is, if you're masculine, you're loud, you're rambunctious, you may not even attract those men. Maybe you just may attract them to hit it, but you want to attract them to retain a relationship. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. So a, a real man is only a man who just wants a housewife. Like, is it, what, what's, your, what's your definition of a real Because you're saying, oh, a real man that you want to, to take care and provide isn't going to want you to work at all, isn't going to want you to have no ambitions. I didn't say that. That's okay, not but what that's saying. what you were describing. Yeah, so yeah, if you can not, describe it a little, the, yep. so maybe the, before, the way okay. you, you know, came off. Well, I said it multiple times. All I'm the saying... The same way, though. Yeah, in multiple different ways. All I'm saying that... A woman that's working, we don't care. Even a broke dude, like your money doesn't make you more attractive. No, yeah, and that's, so, that's okay. Got it, right? So if you are being self-sufficient and making money, that's good for you. But what does it do for the man? Because when we get into a relationship, my money is 
uh, your money and your money is your money, right? So my money is your money and your money is your money, meaning that it's like you look for me to provide. I don't look for you to provide, right? So if you are providing, it doesn't do anything for me. But if I'm providing, it does do something for you. So if you want to attract the man, you have to acquiesce your behaviors to attract the man. Just like the boy that's at home, living in his basement, eating cereal, he has to get up off his mom's basement, go on Indeed, apply to some jobs, start going to the gym, work on himself, start buying some better clothes, start courting women so he could be charismatic and funny so he can have a personality and some charisma about himself so he can attract a woman right and retain the woman now what does a woman have to do to get the guy she wants well yeah i want to be career i'm working working i'm doing what i'm doing okay baby that's good for you keep keep doing that but now you have a certain guy that you want what do you think that that guy wants in you that's the question the question okay. is that you have an ideal man but what do you think that that ideal man wants back in you? All you ladies are just saying that, not all of you, but you're saying that, oh, I, I'm independent, independent. I'm saying that all men is not no man. We don't care about your independence because you're just like the someone said in the chat. You're just an adult. You're doing adult behavior. It's not anything special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so if you come across a woman who checks, like you asked me, who checks up all the boxes and stuff. Yeah. But she works and she 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 takes her work very seriously and she's very ambitious and stuff. That's going to throw you off. Is that is that going to throw you like you're you're going to look at her a little different. Or you're going to steer away from her because of that. So if I'm a man and I have options, mm -hmm. just like you're a girl and you have options. Right. So if I'm a, a higher value man and I have options, if I have the choice of a girl that's focusing on a, a career, she's both of them are. The same rating. They're eight in looks. They're eight in personality. They're the same pretty much person. Uh, one they is check off every box. They Sorry, all check off the boxes that I want. Every right? box that you want. One of them is career driven. Mm -hmm. The other one is, you know, she's she's uh, not career driven. She's like family oriented. No, but they're all that like you 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 want a woman who's family oriented, who is housewife, who who will be nurturing, who will take care of the home while you are working, you paying the bills and stuff, you know. But she also has her side hustle. And she's also ambitious. Yeah. That's what I'm so, saying. Like if I got you, you come across two women, and one just has that ambition in her and, and has that little hustle uh -huh. in her, and then is the that other gonna one, steer you away from her. So yeah, I was answering that question. That's what I said. So the one one of the girls are, is ambition. She's career driven. The other woman is family driven. I'm going for the family driven woman because I'm already built. I've already created the castle for you to live in and help me out, help me maintain that castle. Women turn a house into a home. I don't want a woman that's career driven and that's working for another man. Why would you be submitting when you're working? You submit to a boss, right? You submit to someone. That person is giving you a paycheck. Why would I allow the woman out of, if I have the ability to not have my girl work? Why would I allow her to work for another man when I'm going to take the burden off of her shoulders of working? Because that's what masculine men do. We step into the uh, woman's life and we say, hey, you know what? You don't have to work if you don't want to. I know it's a burden. Guess what? We're going to have some kids. We're going to raise a family. We're going to take vacations. We're going to live life and life is going to be peaceful. Most girls would jump for that. The uh, career-driven woman would be like, ah, oh, no, I want to focus on my career and my, and my business. Well, you may lose your chance with that dude. Men want to create a legacy. We create that legacy by having a woman by our side to make a copy of ourselves, to instill good, valuable traits into the kids and things like that. If you're working and we start a family and I'm working too, the kids go to daycare. Now we got some weird daycare people instilling their worldview into the kids. They could be weird. I don't want our kids to adopt someone's weird uh, worldview. I want my woman to instill good characteristic traits into the kids instead of someone working at a daycare. So you got to look at it long term instead of short term. Okay. Um, just, just to say, just because... I'm a working woman doesn't mean yeah. I'm working for a man. Like for me, I work for myself. I make my own money. I don't. I don't say yes or no to any anybody above well, yeah, me. Yeah, we're speaking in it, general. It, it depends on yeah. your your work field. Yeah. Of so course. I just I I definitely wanted to put out there because the shoe fit for me in that aspect. Yeah, I know you. I, don't I know work you for uh, a man. You got your whole little side. You got your whole little thing going on yeah. when you do here and stuff like that. Kudos to you.
But I'm still very family oriented. And okay. I still I mean I think you're growing that part. So but I get what you're saying too as far as your your yeah. viewpoints. At stuff. the end of the day you still chose the briefcase instead of the man. <laughs> I sure did. Because okay. you know I got trust issues. That's it. Okay, chat, we're gonna get to a few more chats and then we're gonna do last thoughts on the podcast. Um let's see what we got going on here. Uh actually let's get it over here. You answered the question. Um you said that Okay, let's go to you, Ayla. So, to the girls who is single... No, that was just for you. That question was for you. Okay, next super chat. Souls2400 sends in $5. He says, they say they don't need a man, but it is because of men that they got the rights they have now. If men wanted, we could strip their rights by force. I don't like father. That's, <laughs> that's what Soul Twenty Four says. Put it. This is just a comment, okay. which I got on that. Funny. No comment. Like Honestly. father figures. Okay, I read it again. Yeah, read, read it. Again. I, I okay, because that. Yeah. that was volatile. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so Souls Two Four Zero Zero says they say they don't need a man, but but that is because of wait. They say they don't need a man, but it is because of men that they got the rights they have now. Yeah. If men wanted to, they could strip the rights by force. What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is so wrong on so many levels. Okay, what level? I mean, we're taking it all the way back to when women didn't have rights. Like, what kind of... Like, why would you even comment that? Well, he's well. He's saying that. Um, he he said that they women say that they don't need a man, but yeah, he's I don't need a man. I want a man. I think there's a man. big difference. Yeah, yeah, but he's saying that you do need a man because you wouldn't have rights without men. Are you talking like, like if you're talking about history? You if you want to go back to history, I'm sorry for interrupting. You, too. No, yo, if you, you want to talk it. about history, well, we're not even talking women, about history. We're talking about but you're saying right now. We're, we have the rights we have because of men. You got the rights. And you how, have we how far are we men. going back on that? We had that's, that's, that's right. reality. exactly because we had no because rights because we, of and men. We fought for that, and then we got our rights as women because so, we fought for that. Now that's what I'm talking about. History. You know what I mean? About that or like father figures because my father wasn't in my life. So, was barely in my life. So it's like I didn't get nothing from a man. Yeah, yeah. He's not talking about that. Okay. He, what he's talking about is that women claim that they don't need a man. You were saying that you don't need a man. I heard you saying it. Your sis was saying it too. Um, you you've been saying it. I didn't it say it, but I, I say want it. a man. You said I don't that you need want a man. A man. But, but what what he's saying is that you do need a man. You need a man because men are the one that gave you the rights. Men are the one that with, withheld women from, uh, from having rights. It's because that men enforce rights. Men are the enforcement mechanism when it comes to rights. Men give other men rights. Think about it. Black True. people were slaves. We didn't have, black people didn't have any rights. True. It was black men. So the, the apex predator, the strong men survive. And the strong, competent, masculine men that conquer and overcome thing and overcome they they succeed and then they make the rules and then they give rights to some people and take rights away so he's saying that if you you say you say that you don't need a man but the fact is that you do need a man because you wouldn't even have the rights that you have today without a man and he wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for a woman it, he wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for a man and a woman Correct. We need both <laughs> parties to exist. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, but that's that's no, totally just different. The the jab on the on the rights thing is like it's it's a jab and a little too hard. It for isn't me. a jab, it's it's that is a jab. No, it's not a jab at woman, it's the jab at it's what it is is just reality. Facts. What it is is saying True, that True, but why do you have to why do you have to pull on that fact particular? Because it is a, a fact. Yeah. You guys need men, Cause I also feel like we're all just shit. I feel like men need like, women too. Yeah, we need, yeah. Each we, other. we need each other. We need each other. Yeah, yeah but this was what he said. Okay. No, that's question. definitely a rebuttal. It got it got me all fired up inside. Yeah, you got a question, Ayla? Yeah, I have a question. So just hearing everything. Yeah. Um, obviously, many, many years ago, times are very different than what they are now. Uh huh. So, a lot of the women who come on this podcast, like including myself, I'm having some change of perspectives, but yep. 
we all say we don't need a man we don't like we want a man we're independent blah 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 uh-huh. what do you think has made women become like that feeling like they don't or what do you think has made men not be like leaders as much i guess like feminism. what has changed in society mm-hmm. yeah. to make that happen Fe- feminism um just feminism uh, just a group of women who 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 literally say they don't need men how they can do everything a man can do and they're independent career driven um so and the second question you said why do men not want to step up or lead is because women are like no i got it myself i'm career driven i got my own business i got my own job so why do i need a man for because a lot of women are saying that so when a man sees that if if I'm talking, if I'm trying to talk to Jay and got her number, and I'm trying to, you know what I mean, like, visit her up, and she's like, nah, man, like, I don't, need, I don't care what you got, I got my own business. Well, I'm like, all right, then, F it, I'm going to go to Ayla, because she's not like that. Yeah. She's not career Shiver- she's, she's Chivalry to- is dead, and women killed it. Think about what chivalry is. Chivalry was created is because women back in the day was uh, very feminine, and they didn't have the rights that men had, meaning that... Um, you know, be chivalrous. Open up the door for a lady. You know, ladies first. Um, all the chivalrous things that men would do. You know, flowers on a first date. Men would do those things because women was pure. They were feminine, right? And we had then men looked at women like, okay, like all right, well, like almost like not gonna. Let's just say less than. Okay, less than me. Let's help her out, right? That's what chivalry is. Obviously, they're looking at you less than, so they're doing the other things to help open up the door and things like that. Chivalry, right? So with the feminist movement coming into play, what it did was it granted women the rights. Okay, women can have rights, totally fine, but women abuse the way they use the rights. Mm. Instead of just working like any adult is and having a nine to five job or, you know, in a workforce doing working like any normal human being should, being self-sufficient, you ladies want to claim I'm independent. I'm a boss, babe. Well, what the freak? Why are you boosting and boasting about things that we've all been doing as adults? Mm-hmm. Right? So when you start boosting and boasting about yourself, men don't really want to be shivers. Well, I'm not holding the door open for you. I'm not buying you flowers. You ain't even a virgin. You a 304. You slept with all these niggas on the block. So why would I be buying you flowers on the first date, holding the door for you and doing all these chivalrous things when you don't deserve it? And now you act and loud and rebunctious and re- loud about it. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, chivalry is dead and woman killed it. And it's, to answer your question, um, yes, yeah, feminism. It's crazy, though, because when you do look at it, like relationships now compared to what they are it's so different like even marriages i feel like people aren't really getting married either anymore so do you think it's women who mess that up yes 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 do you guys think though there's anything that men could be doing better or to change it i mean there's always there's always guys that are that don't meet your expectations and there's guys that do meet your expectations but the guys that are meeting your expectations, yeah, you know I mean, they don't want the they don't want those masculine feminism kind of women. So therefore, y- you ladies aren't getting that guy because you possess a trait or quality that he doesn't desire. You, sh- you know what I mean? So like, so guys really haven't really changed. It's just that okay. Y- it, we're, we're becoming strict just like you ladies yeah. you ladies were not you ladies aren't tolerating x y and t well all right cool we're not tolerating a masculine loud rude career driven women because the reason why i'm i say career driven because most career driven women are masculine they, they can't follow a man's lead they can't they don't listen you know what i mean and they, they don't most of the time they don't let men be men and lead so it's really, it's really women, in my opinion, that really have to change in terms of. The yeah, it's, it's very simple. The more masculine and career driven and assertive and dominant a woman becomes, the more she'll need, she'll, the more she'll require a even more masculine dominant man that can get her to follow his lead. But guess what? The more masculine dominant men. And masculine men, they have options. So it's like, well, I'm not going to choose that girl that's masculine when I can go and get the chick that's feminine. So what you do is you literally uh, make dating harder on yourself, not by being career, not by 
working, but ha- adopting the mindset that you're independent and that you're just, you know, uh, you sh- don't stink. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But it all, everyone's does. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. But you had some, Sarah? Um, yeah, it was more of a question based off of what you guys are saying. How can we as women behave differently to attract more high value men? Because uh, I wonder if there's something in my behavior that's yeah. attracting boy, adult boys. Well, Sarah, I don't know you very well, yeah. so I really no. can't say. Like you asked this, you asked a similar question mm-hmm. earlier in the podcast, and I don't know you well enough to give you it. You know, f- full advice. All I can say is. Um, it's the way you carry yourself. It's your tonality. It's the way you speak, and the way you're the way you carry yourself. Meaning that approaching men, that's a that's it's not a masculine thing, but it's like eh, you should be putting yourself. The feminine thing, the very feminine thing, is to put yourself in a position to advertise yourself to the men that you want, right? So uh, advertising yourself is would be the thing. The way you advertise yourself, dress. Um, uh where you're going right uh uh you know your mannerisms how Mm -hmm. you convey yourself and you're speaking to other people because men observe that we'll see a woman and she's speaking to somebody over there and maybe that woman may have a thing for us and trying to get her eye but we just notice her maybe being loud or like being like you know maybe too uptight to someone else or just showing some type of not so feminine qualities and right off the bat we'll be like yeah i'm not gonna approach that because remember, women advertise themselves and then men approach. So you have to attract the guys that you want. And the way you do that is advertising yourself in a very feminine way. You see, the the reason why, and I'll go back to you, the reason why I am doing the approaching is because I'm finding that a lot of men don't approach because they're intimidated by me because of my saying, size. I, that's, that's, that's another thing. Sometimes it's, it's just as simple as they're either not attracted to you mm-hmm. or they might be intimidated, intimidated by you. It could be your height or it could be your career. Not you intimidated. I don't think a man is intimidated. What it would be is what it would all be the way you advertise yourself. So you're 5'11", you said, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you are of a certain weight as well, right? Okay. So then it's about what you're wearing. Right. Um, It's about, uh, you know, putting yourself in a situation and behaving in a feminine way where you can attract a man. Or the guy she's particularly going for. Maybe the guy that you're particularly going for. Maybe it's sometimes you're just not. Now she's saying that those dudes isn't walking up to her. And that's the other thing. Maybe those maybe you're just not the guy's type. So then look, if you're not the guy, if you have if there's since. Beauty is the woman's main agency. It is. Sexuality is the woman's main agency. It, since that's your main agency, you can enhance that. But guess what? A man's main agency isn't sex. I could, you know what I mean, do to get the twist, put put in a whole lot of beard on you. That ain't going to do nothing. I need to become, <laughs> I need to make something in life. I need to become a millionaire, a multi-millionaire. Okay, status. We all know women are attracted to status, which I was all being fugazi on, but women are just naturally attracted to that. So that's how a man can increase his level. Or if, say if I'm, I used to be 140 pounds, now I'm 200. Okay, so I increased, but I built it in muscles. So I increased my value by getting muscles. A woman can increase, you can increase your value by losing weight, by, uh, you know, Maybe the way you do your hair, maybe the makeup you wear, or maybe no makeup, um, or maybe the clothes you wear. So you can do a a multitude of things to increase your value as a woman because it streams from beauty. Okay. Right? I also also feel like, though, nowadays, because I've been approached, but it's not... Oh, Ayla, sit up a little bit for me. Actually, I'll just put this down then. Yeah. Um, I've been approached, but it's not by, like, the high-quality men, you would say. But then those high quality men will DM me later that night, but they won't approach me. It'll be like the guys I'm not interested yeah. in that will approach me. <laughs> yeah, most yeah, guys yeah. Just don't have games, seriously. Yeah, most guys just are scared. Most guys don't have the confidence to go up and be like, yo, I, 
what's up how you doing what but you then what's do? that about like is that is that something because i thought y'all are supposed to be leaders not every man's a leader not every man's a leader baby girl and not and every also man is confident yeah not every man is confident and, and also it could have been maybe he didn't think maybe it wasn't walmart and maybe you look like you had an attitude and maybe it wasn't he's like ah <laughs> it really don't look like the place, time for me to approach so he's like i'll rather find her on ig and i'll send her a dm so it could have been something like that or it's either something like that or he's just not a masculine dude yeah, mm. yeah. yep um okay fair enough let's get on to some more super chat and uh vana jay y'all got anything or y'all good no i'm good I'm all right bet brother uh jen he sends in ten dollars he said just wanted to support bro this is the best podcast on youtube for dating and relationships i have learned so much bro i can honestly say i'm a better man because of your podcast Aww. Aww. <laughs> hey brother jen i appreciate that man that's that's that means a lot to me bro that means a lot um ninja spoke house ninja no ninja smoke house he sends him five dollars he says don't be ignorant your standards too high if 35 with frozen eggs woman stop picking <laughs> stop picking crap men then not trusting good men how many nice guys you friend zone yeah facts um william ray sends in ten dollars he says to the girl who is single by choice <laughs> uh, since you said yes to accepting the relationship with your dream man if he offered it to you today uh then that means you are not single by choice Facts. I said I have to get to know the person, but okay. I'll yeah. take that, whatever. Uh, Shots Fired, that's his name, Shots Fired, sends in $10. He says, shout out to No Fugazi. I've been in a relationship for 11 years and five years married, and I've learned a lot from you guys making six figures. Hey, man, uh, appreciate the support, bro, and uh, thanks for tuning in, man. Um, D. Corey sends in six dollars uh, to the woman in the denim jean jacket. Talking to you, Vana. So here we go. To the woman in a denim jean jacket. You said money doesn't matter to you, but you're wearing a two thousand dollar jacket. Are you sure about that comment? Is that a two thousand dollar jacket? Denim, it's definitely not two thousand dollars. What kind of jacket is that? It's denim tears. But the shoes are merry though. The shoes is a Mary. Wait, how much is the jacket? The jacket online on their website is three ten. Uh, three hundred ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how much you get it for? Three ten. Oh, you got it for three ten. How much, how much and then sneakers? the Marys. It was like six hundred, seven hundred. Six hundred. So yeah, he pretty Faithful. much he's saying that you don't care. You saying that you don't care about money, but you got some expensive taste. Yeah, That's what, what he's saying. What if, what if your man can't buy them three, them six hundred dollar Mary yeah. sneakers or the three hundred? What if he can't afford what that? If, it's okay. What if you know what I mean? What this if is like, for, man, my what if for my birthday. This is for my birthday. For Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up. Christmas is right here. Yeah. Like, babe, I want you to buy me this Gucci purse, and he says I can't afford it. I don't make enough. I already make fifteen thousand dollars a year. That's the thing. I don't ask for like. I wouldn't even ask for a Gucci purse. I wouldn't even ask for like any okay, so designer things. Like this is shit for my birthday. I get shit like this for myself or like. All right, but what if right there. It's the holidays. You know what I mean? yeah. It's the holiday spirit. Like let's say whatever another, he gives me. Let's say another one. Somebody robbed you for them, and you want another one. You want him to Rob buy. Me it. Was crazy. And he says he can't. <laughs> Rob me is uh -huh. crazy. Can't, can't, yeah. You're going to be tight or you're going to be like, sorry, babe. I'll just buy with my own money. I would buy with my own money. Yeah. Like, I'm just being so honest. Like, I like I wouldn't lie. All right. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, Tony Barnett sends in $10. He says, ease, coolly, and I had to register for selective service. Uh, so he's saying, ease, coolly, and I had to register for selective service. Uh, or the draft when uh, we became 18 or we go to jail when it becomes legal which one of you ladies are going to register for selective service good question so when it becomes legal for a woman to register for selective service that's the military by the way oh that's the military uh, which one are you are going to register for a selective service for so for men it's mandatory we have to no register for a selective service um, if not we go to jail 
if it, if there's a draft. So would you uh-huh. register? No. She said <laughs> what about you? No. Oh, no. What about you? Yeah. Be honest. Sarah, are you five eleven. You better protect this country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just found out there's a space force. I just found there's out. There's space, Sarah. There's space. There's a whole lot of space. No, she's. <laughs> no, I just found out that there's a space force. Oh, a space force. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh space okay. force. Yeah. No, we're not talking about that. We're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. There was a draft. There was a war tomorrow. No, I okay. And I got muscles. So you're saying you would sign up for the draft? Yeah, yeah. I'll go. And you go. And Jay, what about you? No. I like so honesty. three ladies saying no. One of them is saying yes. Fair enough. Um, Okay, moving right along. We got William Ray sends in $20. He says, advice for Sarah. If you Mm. want to attract better men, you need to make changes in your life. I will give you the first one. Lose weight. Do you have a masculine figure? Losing weight will make you smaller and naturally more feminine. That's Thank what I you. Told you, I'm bro. actually in the process of losing weight. I've lost 50 pounds since July 5th. Good for you. So, yeah, thank you. Good for you. So you lost 50 pounds. Yeah. So, thank yeah. You, I, and, Some guys tell me not to lose weight. So, yeah. That's it. Really a, depends on your taste. Yeah. They yeah. just trying to say whatever so they can get. In no, but you know what? It is a preference because yeah, there is exactly. guys who do like bigger women and there is right. guys who like really petite yeah. women. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, um, all men, we would all, if we had a choice. We all want the Coke figure, a smaller waist with wider hips. We all want the waist to be smaller than the hip ratio. We want that ratio going on. But uh, if we had a choice, we all all going to want uh, a thicker bottom with more a slim top. So maybe some, some buns, we want something to grab on. But we want the woman to be, you know, slim thick. Any man would choose that. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be niggas choose Big Jones because they don't got options. I if they like. had options for the for the uh, slim thick John, they gonna choose the slim thick. But they only can attract them big BBWs, so that's why they going with those. But truth be told, if we keep it in no fugazi, all men gonna choose their preference is gonna be a Coke bottle and a more slimmer thick. But yeah, I, I told you before, uh, Sarah knows William Ray. You know, she she would have to lose some more weight. That would be that would enhance her feminine qualities and stuff like that. But um, and and she's she said yes, so she's very accepting to it, and she's not you know being you know irate or being unaccepting to it. She gets it, right, Sarah? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. She gets it. Um, so I still love how I am right now. True. Don't get me wrong. True. True. But I do want to yeah, be yeah yeah you smaller. You don't want to have any self hate. I want to lose like forty pounds. Okay, cool, yeah. How much do you weigh now, if you don't mind me asking? I'm like 250. 250, okay, yeah. So think about it. So she's 250, she's 5'11". Yeah, she should definitely be in the draft. She should definitely be in the draft. I mean, I (laughs) definitely got all the hips. She definitely smacking one of y'all little niggas for sure, man. You you act up around Sarah. She 5'11", 250, she a linebacker, dog. She definitely (laughs) clapping one of y'all dudes if y'all talk greasy. And matter of fact, I'm about to bring you here to be a bodyguard. When these chicks act up, just slap I used to them do around security. Look at oh, that. you used to do security? I I'm used about to, to hire you as a security. <laughs> when we get some of these ratchet joints acting crazy like mm-hmm. Sarah, you yeah, escort yeah. her. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. But um, ladies, we're going to do last thoughts on a podcast. So this is the point of the podcast where if you have any questions, you can ask a question. But if you don't have any questions... Last thoughts on the podcast and how you like it. We're going to start with Jay. It was interesting. Interesting. I don't have any questions, but it was definitely, this is my first time doing something like this. So it was an interesting experience. Word, word. And I would uh, say that you definitely, you know, uh, you stayed on a podcast. Um, You know, in the beginning, you had, we had misunderstanding on how the podcast actually works. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you stayed on, you understood, you've acquiesced your behaviors and you've been here chilling. So appreciate you for adapting. Um, Would you come back? Maybe. Ooh, okay. (laughs) We got the, we got a maybe. Okay. Maybe. You got to talk to Big Sis. Like, you know, Big, when I know when you get to the whip, Big Sis going to be like, I hate this nigga. (laughs) Big Sis ain't letting you come back, actually. She not. Yeah, Big Sis ain't letting you come back. Um, And uh, let's go with you, Sarah. Any questions? If not, last No questions. Uh, Thank you for having me. For sure. Fun. Definitely have you back. Um, Would you come back? I would. Okay, definitely have you back. And Vana? Um, the same with Jay. Like, this is my first time doing this. I don't have any questions, though. No questions? Okay, cool. And um, would you come back? 
I would. Ooh, okay. Vonda, like, yeah, I come back. He was cool. I know, like. Bye. <laughs> and Ayla, Shorty. I don't have any questions. For your third time. No questions? Mm -hmm. And uh, would you come back? I've been back. Yes, You've I been would come back. back. Ayla will be back. Okay, <laughs> word, word. And uh, shout out to my man, Dan, my intern, Dan the man. Yeah. Uh, hey, man, put a one in the chat if Dan was excellent today uh, with the switchboard and producing. Um, cause I've been trying to, you know, look for, uh, someone to be on the switchboard and to learn someone I could, you know, show the, the, uh, give the skills to and bring them on a team. And I think Dan is the man. We're definitely going to have him back and he's getting college credits for this anyway. So it's going to help him out a little bit. Um, so, uh, Hey, thank y'all for tuning in. This podcast was very no fugazi. It's like three over 300 people in right now. Before you leave, like the podcast, man. Cause it's going to help this content get into the algorithm. So like the podcast on your way out. But other than that, uh, we go live again on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. So tune in on Sunday and we out. <laughs>